All right, mic check. Two, two. Levels up. Okay, good. Perfect. All right, let's get it. Yeah. Test. Okay. Now, if you're seeing this part and it's not during the live stream, you can skip up to the live stream itself. You know, I got to do the intro so people could come in, give them time. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Back to back, baby. We ain't playing with them back to back. We are not playing no games. How y'all doing? I'm CEO. Oh, CEO, oh, CEO, how y'all doing? Hope it's not too late or too early for people. I know it's a, um, I know it's a Sunday, you know, but, you know, why not have a little bit of fun today? Still keep it educational at the same time. Oceo. Oceo, brother Levante, thanks for joining. GQ the boss, what's going on? Brother Coleman, be looking out for my call. Yeah, my schedule was a little, just a little crazy because I didn't get no sleep that day. But I'm well rested now. You know, I am taking care of my health. I know people be like, hey, health first, health first. I got you. I'm, I'm definitely on top of that now. <laughs> I'm on top of that. Like every once in a while, I'm, you know, sometimes I might have to stay up. I'm not going to stay up like back to back to back to back. I'm not going to do that any longer. That was affecting my health, and I told you all that. I'm not going to do that any longer. <clears throat> but, yeah, I'm, I'm doing a couple of things. I'm working on so many projects at one time. This is another reason why I didn't even release brand spanking new content on my channel just yet. And plus, I wanted to sit back and see who's actually copying. <laughs> Cause they waiting for me to release the information, but don't worry about it. I know they need content. Just sit back and watch. <laughs> oh, time. My wife and I putting in the work and there's people on YouTube trying to act like they doing stuff first, man. And they just sitting back, writing down what we doing. <laughs> but, um, it's hilarious, man. People sharing it with me on my Instagram and now they, uh, and the 13% community service sharing it with me. Hey, did you go for this day? I'm talking about it's people out there stating what I stated verbatim. And it's hilarious. I'm like, come on, bro. <laughs> like we put in big work. Like that's not, <laughs> that's really not fair, but it is what it is. Shout out to my wife. Let me drop a bomb for my wife. Moon Rock, thank you for becoming a member. Those members, um, y'all better look out for something. We got we uh yeah, I can say it. We posted something here shortly for y'all. And um it's for you all and the patrons over on uh Patreon. We had before, but I'm noticing a lot of those notifications wasn't coming out. Uh, the way they should so we do we did something we implemented something where you guys can see it and don't miss it uh i noticed they were hold up i noticed they were um they were playing with my notifications so we figured something out worked around that and the app is coming soon big bombs 
brother Derek Coleman. Y'all gonna see this brother on the channel too. Watch. <laughs> I can't wait. You're amazing. And so are you, brother Coleman. We appreciate you. Shout out to the wife too. Tell Mrs. Coleman I appreciate her as well. Man. I love y'all and y'all know that. Miss Divine Rising is in the building. Miss Juicy in the house. Yellow ham in the house. She doing better. Excellent news. See, that's what I see. You know, my wife and I told you already that we were going to send up positive affirmations and continue to do that. Um, and we always actually we have. It's a lot of people. You already know. I'm not even trying to go into that, but it's a you know, we we were both having some family stuff at the same time. We were doing that all at the same time as far as pushing out the great, great positive energy that our family members needed. Anderson, Indiana in the building. Chicago, West Side in the building. Shot Town. Illinois, stand up. Sheba Mooncat, what's going on? Charlotte, North Carolina, send a love. I'm sending love back. What up, Charlotte? Wait, that said Tardisha Lemons Monroe, Louisiana. Wow. Never heard of that one right there. Shout out to y'all. What up, Louisiana? Alabama in the house. Columbia, South Carolina in the house. Louisville. Kentucky in the house. Buffalo, New York in the house. Waco, Georgia. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing that she's doing very well, and I'm very thankful to hear that. Mrs. Coleman don't play no games. That's a warrior right there. And so is her husband, okay? You all are going to meet him shortly, very shortly. Uh, Richmond VA in the house. What Yellow Hammer say? Hold up. That moved kind of quick. Johnstown, we see you. Chicago in the building. Mooresville, North Carolina in the building. Motown. Motown down. Fort Wayne, Indiana. Nashville, Tennessee. Texas in the building. Miami Gardens, Florida in the house. Man, that thing jumped. UK in the building. What up, London? H time. Oakland in the building. What up, Cali? What up, Oakland? Riley, North Carolina in the building. Um, Charleston, South Carolina in the building. Duval, Duval in the house. What up, Florida? St. Louis, Lake Wales, Florida. Florida in here deep, Miami, Florida, Houston in here, St. Louis in here, Fort Lauderdale, Florida in here, Omaha, Nebraska in here, ATL in here, Tuscaloosa, Alabama in here. You know, that's one of the big chiefs right there. Tuscaloosa, that's one of our big chiefs right there. Um, Denver in the house, Dallas, Texas in the house. And what I mean by that is, is that somebody, you know, that was a chief that actually put in work, like, you know, went out there and fought, um, and kicked a lot of tail. <laughs> uh, where we at Columbia, Ohio, Detroit, Jackson, Mississippi, Savannah, Georgia, Philly, Philly, Philly. Mm-hmm. Chicago, GA, Southwest H Town, uh, Detroit, St. Louis, San Antonio, Dallas, Texas, Texas in here pretty deep, Cali in here pretty deep, Sacramento, California, Stanford, VA, what up, VA, what up, Maryland, what up, DC, uh, where we at, who? That thing jumped. Hold up. 
Um, hold up, come back. Okay, there you go. Lexington, Lexington, Kentucky, Richmond, Cali, West Palm Beach, Florida, Tampa, Florida. Listen to that. Baltimore in the house, Kansas City, pretty deep in here. Baltimore, what up? What up, B more? What up, yo? Cincinnati in the house. Houston in the house. Toronto, Canada in the house. Texas, Flint, Michigan. What up, Flint, Michigan? What up, Texas? Springfield, Missouri. What's going on, Missouri? Memphis teen in the house. What up, Memphis? What up, Tennessee? Montgomery, Alabama in the house. Indianapolis in the house. Minnesota, Cambridge, Richmond, VA. Good food out there. Um <laughs> Bronx, New York. What up, Bronx? BX. St. Louis, Mound City in the house. Baton Rouge in the house. Arizona in the house. Katamba Lumbi Indians in the building. Hey. Hey. Las Vegas in the house. Arizona, Miami, Florida. Chicago, Illinois. Uh, say shout out from downtown Ninth Wall, BFC, Sunnyside, NOLA. Man, my man say everything. <laughs> hey, shout out to New Orleans in here. St. Louis stand up. 404 in the house. What up, Niji Warrior? Card Imperial and Comics. What's going on? Mountville, Alabama. What's going on? Milwaukee in the house, Connecticut in the building. What up, Connecticut? What up, Milwaukee? Mississippi, M I, crooked letter, crooked letter, I, crooked letter, crooked letter, I, humpback, humpback, I. <laughs> BX, what up, New York? Compton, what's going on, Compton? I see, look, look at y'all back to back. What up, Compton? What's going on? Dallas, Texas. Who that? Ah, that jumped again. Mississippi in the house. Hey, hey, Long Island. Lake Charles. Dale, PA. New Jersey in the house. 136 Palmer Lee. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Memphis 10. King Third in the house. What's going on, brother? How you been? Nap town in the house. Starkville, Mississippi. Shot town in the building. What's going on now? DMV in the building. That's DC, Maryland, and Virginia. What's up, y'all? What it do? I see you, Brooklyn. Mobile, Alabama in the house. How did I know that? Because I went there. <laughs> because I went there. <laughs> Y'all be throwing down too. Stone Mountain GA in the house. Four City, Arkansas. Arkansas pretty uh, pretty also. Y'all haven't been. Let me go ahead and shout out Tulsa, Oklahoma, because I see brother Derek Coleman ain't I got you. I got you, brother Derek Coleman. Shout out to Oklahoma in the building. Indian Town, Florida in the house. Who that? Bean Town. Denver, Colorado. Shot Town. Augusta, Georgia. Columbus, Georgia. Uh, Monroe. I think that was Louisiana that jumped on me. Louisville, Mississippi. Popular Bluff. Hold on, what that say? Popular Bluff, Missouri. What's going on, y'all? I need your we in the house. That's family right there. Hey, hey. The Great Wolf Clan. Y'all already know. Let me switch these screens real quick.
CEO, free thinkers. You're now tuned into the realest historian on the planet. 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 Big brother, he is raising some serious questions. He's here to make you think. What I'm trying to do is get our people to understand that we have been lied to all the way around about our history. Can you name any other group of people, no matter their skin complexion, that are being labeled primarily as the name of two continents? Not two countries, two continents. continents. That is called a misnomer, which is the... Look, y'all, I was on YouTube for a long time. Shortcut head, long head, bush, all that. Look at that, man. For handy. <laughs> and get ready to take notes. Get ready to take notes. I want y'all to check out notes. somebody named Dane Calloway. Dane Calloway? Look at look into Dane Calloway. He has a lot of information about how this whole shit was told in reverse. Okay? Where they say, oh, we came from Africa over here. No, a lot of us was already here. And information that was put together by a man by the name of Dane Calloway, who is also questioning the slave trade. And he's done some remarkable videos on the history of the slave trade in the United States. And he's gone back down the food chain and gone back down the line and he's realized that a lot of the so-called African-Americans in the United States are not African at all. They're actually Native Americans because the slave trade did not happen the way we were told that it happened. It's Dane Calloway. Dane Calloway. Go and watch this man's channel, man. This dude is phenomenal, and he don't get the uh, accolade and his flowers right now. You know what I'm saying? Because this dude gives some powerful information, some common sense. Go dig deep and research. Maybe even have to spend a couple of dollars on research if you truth-seeking. Not fact-checking, truth-seeking. Because there's a difference. It's Dane Calloway on I'm Just Here to Make You Think Radio. Empress Vicky J, thank you for becoming a member. And She City or Shea City, thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate that. Uh, Indigenous Minds, thank you for the donation. I appreciate that. Thank you, Indigenous Minds. E. Jack Wears, thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate that. Alex Jackson, thank you for becoming a member. Jawan Martin, thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate that, y'all. Rovani, Sister Rovani, I appreciate that. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly, sister. If I'm not, cast me out in the comments, okay? I appreciate that, though. Thank you, sister. Look, y'all. Couple things we got to talk about here. <laughs> huh? Priscilla, thank you, sister. I appreciate that. <clears throat> Listen to me. Y'all know I'm going to need some coffee. We. <laughs> Smashville TV in the building. What's going on? 
How you doing, family? Few things we're going to get into. Mia Latrez, thank you for becoming a member. Miss Kelly Harlan, Har, Harlell. Miss Kelly Harlell, thank you for becoming a member. So, um, I told, and Miss Nix, oh man, Miss Nix, you doing it every time I go live. I appreciate that, sister. I'm gonna drop a bomb for you. She gifting the memberships, and I appreciate that. That means anybody can pick up that gift and become a member. That's love right there. Was Adam Indian? You tell me. I don't know Adam personally. Cynthia been a member for 21 months. Woo! Miss Cynthia. Excuse me. Miss Fuller, how you doing, sister OCO? Um, yeah, man, I appreciate that y'all showing them love like that in the chat. That's that's love. I appreciate that. Yeah, that, the topic finna be heavy because it's a lot of stuff going on. Right now, people are getting upset because the majority of our people are waking up um, and they can't stand it. You know what I mean? Um, they see what's going on. They see that people are actually becoming familiar with their own individual family's history. And that's what it's about. Shy City, thank you. I appreciate that. Gifted five members. I appreciate that. Man, that's love right there. Dropping a bomb. Fishbone, thank you for becoming a member. Um, now since we waking up, the alphabet boys are continuously pushing out more agents out there. And I know you all see this now. Pushing out more agents that look like you and I, okay? Attempting to distract us and distract other people that view us from the truth. That's purposely done. That's purposely done. And I'm, I said to myself, okay, why? Why is that so important? This is how you know we telling the truth. Because if they're constantly trying to distract us and distract other people from watching us and viewing our content, that's a big deal. That means that we're changing the narrative. Not only changing the narrative, we're actually pushing people towards the truth. We're doing something correct. We're doing something right, something strong. And these agents are working double time right now. Okay, double time. And I show, I told you all and showed you all the multiple things that they attempted to do, not only to my channel, not only to me and my family, you know, they, they were trolling my family and uh, call, calling random family members numbers and stuff like that. We all had to change our numbers and uh, a few of them had to relocate. It was stupidity stuff happening. Like we took that as a threat, you know what I'm saying? Because technically it is, we don't know who these people are. I told you, I shared it one time. Um, when my son, this was like three or four years ago, because my son, my youngest son, I was giving him a bath and, um, yeah. And then all of a sudden somebody called my cell phone was like, Hey Dane. I was like, what the hell? How you? Where you get this from? I found it on the internet. I was like, on the internet? I don't have my information on the internet. I said, look, man, I, I'm giving my son a bath. I'm gonna call you back. Well, hey, I just wanted to talk to you about something. I, I, click, <laughs> click, what do you mean? <laughs> huh? Why am I hearing that? I'm not supposed to be hearing that. See, this is what happened the last time. That's not supposed to be going through. All right, hold up. So let me, I wanted to talk to you all about this. Hold on, before I bring that up. No, not that, this. 
Um, hold up. A couple things are happening on my side. Okay, here we go. I want you all. Where are... I need to know where you all are located. And I understand because there was a lot of comments in here uh, that was saying they're in the Midwest. And that's why I told you all to please type in, uh, please inform us of your city and state. But I got to let you all know, it's almost 15,000 comments. It could be. I didn't even click it to refresh but it's um 7.7k votes this is a not this is not about voting you know for some pol somebody for a political position or anything like that i just need to know actually let me read it i said oh ceo we are putting together community events i need to know where you all are located drop your city and state in the comments of this post and join us in the 13 percent community server here and i dropped the link over 8K Niji Strong so far. Now, it's over 8K. It's over 9K. It may even be over 10K right now. Um, But I'm going to I'm gonna close out the polls once the votes go to 10K. Okay? I'm going to close them out. But we're looking at this information because a lot of the analytics um, on my channel are telling me specific areas. But I, I knew something wasn't quite accurate with that. This is the reason why I made this post, because I want to take care of the entire country. I want to make sure that the events are taken, hopefully twice in the east, twice in the west, twice in the south, twice in the north, maybe twice in Midwest. So, it could, you know, we could accommodate everyone to be able to come out each time we make our rounds. And then I'm going to go on tour. I'm going back on tour. Like, if you're familiar with um, a lot of the videos that you've seen in the intro, when I'm out on the road, out and about, we're, we're getting back to that. Um, I planned on doing this back in 2020, but that's when all that pandemic stuff happened, and they were keeping people inside of their house. So we're going to do this now, um, you know, renting out some places, and then you have to have a very special invite in order to come. You can't just walk up. Oh, I got the flyer and you come in. No, <laughs> that's not how it works. I'm going to have professional security, not no oh, flashlight and they can't do nothing. I'm going to have professional security on each site. Um, so and um, there will be openings for vendors. Like if you want to have a vendor table, you can do that. Um, hopefully that could help me offset some of the costs I'm gonna have to put up on certain things. Uh, but I'm not looking for, you know, it to be covering the whole thing. I'm not looking for that. I'm just like, well, if it, you know, it can offset some costs, that'd be wonderful. Um, uh, because I'm also going to be paying for, uh, a catering company so everybody can eat. I'm talking about a professional catering company. So please keep your drinks, keep your food. I appreciate the hospitality. Okay. But we're not, <laughs> but we're not, we're not going to need that. Okay. We're not going to need that. And let me, let me explain why y'all, because on a spiritual note, like hear me out on this on a spiritual note, depending on the mood of the cook. Okay. I mean, what they're going through at that particular time, whatever mood that is, let's say for instance, that person is in a negative mood that will come out in the person's food. Okay. The food that they're cooking. And then people are swallowing that negativity. You understand what I'm saying? I don't want to, that, that's, you see what I'm saying? And then on top of that, ain't no telling where you coming from. That, that food could be cold and, you know, I'm not trying to, no, I, we ain't got no microwaves on site. And it's like, you got to hit me out on that. I understand, but thank you. You know what I mean? I, it's, I appreciate that, but no, we got to have professional people doing that. Um. I'm just saying y'all okay and i hope you all understand that because i'm not kidding we're not about to if even if you did it outside of what well, i'm not listening to dane i'm gonna bring food anyway we're gonna ask you to throw that in the trash i'm not playing don't show up and i'm fair warning you do not waste your time making a whole bunch of food and we're going to tell you to put that in the trash before you even walk in we're not accepting that the people that i'm going to hire are professionals and they're going to get that done Okay, in the timely matter, you're going to be able to eat. I'm just going to make sure that it's going to be some food that we like, you know. Um, and then, you know, those of you that are out there 
who are vegan, you know, we're going to make sure that they could accommodate you as well. Okay. So I understand I'm going to try to do my best on, you know, on the catering side to make sure that everybody's taken care of on that note. You know, I mean, this ain't a cookout enough for like that where you bring your food and bring huggies for the children and stuff like that. And speaking of children, you can bring your children. You can bring your children. There will be activities there for the children. I cannot speak on that right now. Right now, we're just collecting the um, analytics on where people are located so we can pick spots and go from there. But that's happening very shortly, so be looking out for that. I'm going to close the poll once it hit 10K. So if you haven't, you know, voted yet, I highly recommend. This is on the community tab right now. This is on the community tab right now of my YouTube channel. So if you can do that, please, please. Okay. If you want me to come out there, if you want us to come out there, please do so. All right. Now that I got that out. Oh, wait, any quest? No, I'm just playing. I'm not that I got that out the way. <laughs> well, actually, let me um take that off. Okay. Now that I got that out the way. So that's the truth. We are getting ready to have that happen for our people. We should be able to come together, have community gatherings like that, you know, similar to powwows and stuff like that, but it's going to be a tad bit different. It's going to be ours. Okay. Of course, we're going to have entertainment day. We're going to have a lot of different things. I'm not trying to get into until it happened or close to happen. So you can know what's going on once every, once I feel as though everything is all T's across all eyes are dotted. Then I'm going to let you know on the spot. Boom. Um, so I want, I, I just want you all to be cordial. It's no really no type of dress code, but, uh, don't be bringing pistols and stuff like that. Like, even if it's an open carry area, if we pick an open carry state, don't bring none of that over there because they're going to stop you right then and there and ask you to turn around. Okay. And they're going to be strapped also. So I'm going to tell you that right now. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Like a lot of those people that as far as my security detail, they do not play that. Okay. At all. We're not having none of that, especially when it's children around. Don't do that. Don't show up and be like, well, what I thought he said. No, I didn't say none of that. I said, do not bring that. That's what I said. Um, and I'm not playing with you because I'm going to tell you in front of your face. Like it don't do it. You're not going to come in here. <laughs> Put that away. Leave it in the car. It can't be anything big, anything small. It can't be any of that. Leave that shit in the car. Don't, I'm not playing with you. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that in your face too. So don't be embarrassed. This is when I tell you I'm already going to be on the microphone. So everybody can be able to hear it and you're going to look foolish. Um, anyway, so what I wanted to bring up as far as the topic, uh, uh, no, I didn't even see you talk to all my time. I'm looking at the chat right now. I don't, I ain't even know what you said, brother. And you probably was playing around. <laughs> you probably was playing around. Y'all saying it's freezing. It keep freezing. The, the, huh? The stream is freezing. It don't look like it on my side. Everything is good. Are we all right? We good to go. We good. Tell me in the chat. Are we good? Not on this end. Okay. I said, dang, I can't break the glocky. Nah, uh-uh. Keep that at home. <laughs> keep that at home. Hold on. My wife just texted me. Okay. Nah, she told me I'm not freezing. I'm good to go. What you doing? <laughs> all right. Never mind. Shout out to my wife. And shout out to all of you because this will be happening for all of us. This is happening for all of our people. And we ain't trying to bring no, you know, riffraff or nothing like that. Ain't none of that happening. This will be called you. You understand what I'm saying? So a round of applause for you all. That's for y'all. We appreciate that. I'm gonna need to turn that down. That's loud. <laughs> I'm gonna have to turn that down. Um, we appreciate that. We appreciate the love. You know, 
This is for us. If you want that to happen, you got to be for real. Because I'm being for real. I'm not playing no games. <laughs> and you got to have a special invite. If you do not have that special invite, you can't come in. And there's a reason why. Um, so the, the video I wanted to go over, um, a lot of people in the 13% community server and on my Instagram were asking me to go over this because I never got a chance to do so. I am. Um, and of course, it's pertaining to the particular topic. I, it, depending on the time, I might even go from this one to another one because I wanted to bring up. It was a couple of them they asking me to talk about. So, um, you know, it depends on the time because I know the other one is lengthier, like even lengthier. And I'm not trying to be up on here longer than three hours. Uh, but we'll see how it go. But this particular one, I think it's straightforward. But if I feel as though something needs a you know, a better understanding due to the fact that the person is speaking, uh, the African, the African guy is actually speaking with an accent. I'm going to go over it to tell you what he said and, you know, explain what he means by that. Um, but this, how, you know, this particular video had his own intro. That's why you see my, um, uh, logo here because I, I think I was talking before I played the video. So I'm gonna play that now. And we good to go. The sound is good. I don't see no problems on this side. So here we go. Hold on. Let me turn. Hold on. The music. Yeah, the music is off. All right. And we should be able to go from here. There was an audio clip that I used in a few of my videos so far, but the most recent one where I used it, it's in the video called The American Negro is the American Indian. Now, this video gathered a lot of support from people around the world. And some may have missed that point of the video where I played this audio clip. So what I wanted to do today was teach you all to hearing the entire session of that particular interview where the African man was detailing his thoughts on the interviewer's questions. And one of those questions, he asked him, who are the black people of America? And the African man responded saying, the blacks been in America ever since. They are aboriginals. Who are the black people in America? The blacks been in America have been living here ever since. They are aboriginals. It's just funny, okay? I'm gonna just say it that way. It's funny where this audio derived from, being as though some pan Africaning pro de factors like to pretend that what I present to my audience is somehow inaccurate. But according to the date of this audio, even someone from across the world that I haven't met is stating loads of truthful information very similar to what I presented and stated thus far. This brother details a lot in this interview, and I wish I could post his name, but apparently, according to even the African brother himself, they have been blocking him from the internet. So I couldn't locate his name and information before the time of this recording. But I'll update, and, of course, if the brother uh, reaches out to me somehow. Uh, yeah, that's what I was about to say. If he does reach out to me, um, I, we could do it again, you know, but he did that on somebody else's channel. Uh, shout out to power to the gods. Thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate that. And Cassandra, thank you uh, for gifting five memberships to the people. I appreciate that, sister. Thank you so much. Uh, discovering Yapa. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I appreciate that. Thank you for becoming a member. And Coy Jones, thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate that. Um, so, okay, this is coming from one of those pan goofy channels, by the way. And it was a lot of Africans stepping up. My, I did, it, it happened more than once, by the way, stepping up, letting them know, no, look, y'all not African, okay? And it's a lot of those agents out there right now stating the same yeah, what, thing. Uh, they, they're stating that we came from Africa. Keep in mind, none of that stuff has been proven till this day. Like we came off of a, a boat from West Africa. They don't tell you the tribe. They don't tell you where in, as, in uh, West Africa. They told us that information just recently here. Okay. And then they picked and choose who they wanted you to be. And then they turn around and tell you that you, you should take a DNA test. You should take a DNA test. But a DNA test can't tell you who your people are. Still to this day, I'm talking about a genealogy DNA tests cannot tell you who your people are. Now, we're not talking about no DNA test to check out or, or to find out if somebody's the father and somebody's the mother. We're not talking about 
a paternal fraternal DNA test. That's something totally different. Okay. The genealogy DNA test is limited, just like how the paternal maternal DNA tests are limited. The reason why is because they can only compare your data with other living people. The key word is living. The key word is living because in order for you to tell me my historical genetic makeup by way of genealogy DNA testing, you will have to dig up every single one of my ancestors. Keep in mind that you're unfamiliar with. Okay. I will have to give you that information. One, two, I will have to give you permission to dig up my ancestors graves. You understand what I'm saying? Three, you're not capable of doing that right now. So you telling me my historical genetic genetic makeup by way of your testing is fraudulent. This is the reason why they never come back with names, dates. They tell you location, but that's based off of other living people. And we travel all the time, especially this day and age. I mean, everybody I know got a passport. So you could be telling me somebody that actually just left America and traveled to Africa. Okay. That was willing to take a DNA test. You understand what I'm saying? You can't compare somebody's historical genetic makeup uh, with a living person. That's not how it works. You got to be swabbing the mouth or trying to get some samples from dead people. <laughs> like, I mean, hey, let's be real. So I don't want, and when anybody that's talking about will take a DNA test, D, take a DNA test, straighten them up. Straighten them up. Let them know. The DNA test can't go but so far, and it's limited. It stops at living people. You could be comparing it to anybody that's living. Anybody. Notice how they don't show you how it's done. They just hand you a certificate and get, you know, give you a little notification with a graph to tell you oh, where, where we, they found these little so-called markers at. And then some of those people fall in a trap and say, well, um, follow the science follow the science but keep in mind these same paying goofies was just telling you not to trust white inf white people's information look how they contradict themselves you getting that from a white man you getting that from a white man where you think you getting these genealogy dna test results from where you think you getting that from i mean that that came from a black man that came from a no ain't no black man right now it's telling you that they own a bio bank. I said own a bio bank. Ain't no, ain't no way in the world. You know how much that costs? That's a ton of money. And I, I swear, I dare you to name the person that owns a bio bank that's of color. Right now, a bio bank. Not no goddamn scientist and doctor that. Name the person that owned the bio bank that could be trusted. And the run and look, and then y'all run to ancestry.dna.com. Uh, and I told y'all, you're only going to find it's limited. They only going to give you certain particular information when it comes to your people's history. Because ancestry DNA is owned by the Mormons right now. That's coming from their church. The same people that own a spot up in Utah that's in the mountains that has a lot of records inside of it. I'm talking about in a cave that has a lot of records inside of it that's closed off by a door that could withstand a nuclear bomb. The Church of the Latter-day Saints we never gave them permission to hold our records, but they sprinkle out a little bit at a time. Notice that. And yes, they are the owners of AncestryDNA.com. I showed you this already. These same people. No joke. The records is the key. This is the reason why I told you genealogy is the key. I didn't start that off first, shout out to Wanagi. But I'm just letting y'all know that yes, genealogy is the key. Cause you can't sit up there and say that you African 
without no proof, without no evidence. And then African where? What tribe? What part of Africa? And then, and, and you go ahead on this audio, Africans are letting you know that they're not African. They do not consider themselves African until they come over here in America because they know that you're speaking English. They're going to refer to themselves by way of tribal affiliation. That's how it works. When I um when I spoke with um um Godfrey the comedian, and he's Nigerian, and I spoke to him or shout out to Lord Jamal. I saw I I was on uh, LJ's channel, and good uh, and Godfrey told you straight up that no they none of those stories were passed down. His father didn't pass that stuff down to him. Capture from who? War with who? What are you talking about? He's unfamiliar with that. And he's older than me. So that, that story would have been passed down to him. Because that, I mean, according to how it worked, that wouldn't be too far behind. See, if you, and this is the reason why, and they get mad, like these pan goofies get mad when we tell you to ask grandma and grandpa if they still around. Hopefully they are. If they not, bless your heart, bless their heart, Okay. But there are elders in your family that are still, I'm not talking about people that were born between the 1950s and up because a lot of them were infiltrated and indoctrinated with this information. Notice how the majority of the people that are coming at me are 40 years and up, not my age. They're 40 years old and up. And it's a reason why, because of that, the term black wasn't being used socially like how we do it until the 1960s but we didn't agree to that nor did we create that term same thing with negro same thing with indian by the way but the reason why i'm telling you to use indian is because they are referring to us the american indian not to be confused with native american here's another thing they are telling us these pan goofies are trying to tell our people that we're trying to be, we're trying to pretend like we're Native American. And no, we're not. Native Americans are freaking foreigners. That term is spanking brand new, 1960s, 1970s. And you can't name any form of legislation that associates, I said legislation by way of the government, not some damn book. Listen to what I said legislation that informs you that the government made sure that they switched American Indian to native American that does not exist. In fact, that's the other video I wanted to get into because I'm going to tell you where I told you where it came from. The term native American came from the native American party, the third largest political party during the time period of the federalists and the Whigs, And it was all foreigners who had a problem with the Catholics. So politically, they created their own little movement to make their, to try to gain rights and citizenship so they could be classified as first class citizens along with the rest of those foreigners. And I also told you, so what are we? Because we didn't become citizens until after Martin Luther King was fighting for it, right? Now, once again, he's an agent in a way as well. I'm going to be going into a video in that. I know y'all going to get mad at me for saying that, but yes, he did. In the beginning and in the middle, he had an agenda. And at the end is when he realized that he led his people to a burning house. And I'm going to show you. And that's the reason why he had to get rid of him, because he started flipping the script and telling everybody, no, look, we need to come get our check. Here's why. They owe us. See, Martin Luther King trusted the government. His name is Michael King. It's not even Martin Luther King. It was Michael King, just like his father. He is a junior. And they were following up under the Christi, I mean, the, uh, yeah, Catholic Christianity belief. But it was somebody in his father's ear making him tell his son to do what he wanted him to do. And they were all attached to this government. Another video I showed y'all that it was the Protestants that ran the government right now, Protestants right now, they follow by the quote, Puritan way of life, end quote. And I showed you that, and I told you, I dare you to look that up. 
the Puritan way of life. That's going to go right back to church and state. Remember I showed you church and state and how they're working together. They're not separate. They're trying to make pretend like they are, but they actually are together working hand in hand. Why you think a church don't got to pay taxes? No, oh, it's for religious practice. No, they set it up that way because the government not paying taxes. Uh Oh, they taxing everybody else but themselves. Anyway, uh, the whole point is, is that these people are out there right now that look like you and uh, notice ain't no white folks coming against me. None. All the white folks are agreeing with me. They got the balls, male and female are agreeing with me. Top white people. I showed y'all that all over the world from the UK to the US. They showed y'all, Dane Calloway know what he's talking about. He's teaching the truth. Listen to him. I showed y'all that. They came out. I didn't pay them to do that. They came out on their own telling their people to come listen to me. And they look, and I'm telling you, it be your own people because they're so easily, they're, they're, they're too easy to manipulate as far as the people that have been indoctrinated. And they took advantage of that. Who was they? Those that don't want the truth out. And that has no skin complexion. The majority of them were pale, though. I'm going to keep it real. The majority of them were pale. But those that's doing the footwork, the foot soldiers. <laughs> but those that are doing the footwork, the foot soldiers. Look like you and I. Look just like you and I. And, and I'm glad that I'm getting ready to play this video. And I get to explain a lot of the stuff. Because this brother, you going to notice how this brother, I never met him a day in my life. According to when uh, this video was sent to me, the, vi the, the, uh, uh, the interview was done with one of those, those pan goofies back in 2016. Now, I had my channel in 2016, but that does not mean that he was listening to what I was saying and just regurgitating it. You're going to listen to this guy. He is not joking. He's telling you exactly what happened. I also explained to you that America never owned any land in West Africa in order for them to capture anybody in West Africa. It was basically empty. Nobody was there. I told y'all that. And the, and the, uh, and the pan Africans was pissed that I told people that that pan goofies was pissed pissed that I told people that I said wasn't nobody there the majority of them came from South Africa and the people that populated West Africa were Americans and Europeans and a few other places and you're gonna hear him state that too but I got record of me stating this years ago around that same time and beyond as far as going up as far as the years are concerned I be and I put out a book. My wife and I put a book out. My wife and I wrote a book about it. It's a book with knowledge, evidence, and fact. It's out right now. It's called, It Was Told in Reverse. The Untold Truth About the Transatlantic Slave Trade. And the evidence is in the back of that book. My wife and I wrote a book about it. It's a book with knowledge, evidence, and fact. I'm giving you knowledge and evidence. And I dare any pan goofy to debunk my book here. I dare you. I dare you. I'm talking about primary MF and sources here. I put in work like how I am right now. The reason why I ain't even put no nothing fresh out on, on YouTube is because books are coming. That's going to slap each and every one of y'all haters. In the face, I'ma slap y'all with all knowledge, with the truth. And then you turn around and say, don't listen to a white man, but you telling them, well, no, go take a DNA, blindly, go take a DNA test. You are not over the shoulder of these people to see what they doing. But no, but they're comparing this marker with that marker, blah, 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 blah. And you're not even a scientist yourself. But you know so much about that that you gonna say, okay, they're more creditable because they're a scientist. When it was scientists 
and genealogists that came out, and I showed you that. It came out and showed you that it is pseudo information. It is a form of entertainment. I put that on screen and showed you who they were. And when it happened, not only happened in America, it happened in the UK. They told you stop playing with that stuff. It's entertainment. And everybody follow for it because they slapped Google on it. And don't forget, Alphabet Inc. is the parent company to Google. Google pushed over a whole lot of money to Ancestry DNA. For that reason, so they could gather up more information to find out who is who. Your information. Who is who? They looking for somebody that's a part of a particular bloodline, I'm guessing. I'm just saying. Are they looking for the people? Because how come we were the only ones that was being, I mean, I'm talking about damn near attacked by our own people saying that we need to go take a DNA test. Just like how they tried to tell us that we needed to go take that goddamn vaccine because they needed to run tests. Look, look at you being willing to be guinea pigs. And see that I'm telling you, those those little so-called agents out there, them pan goofies out there know that. That's why they're trying to take advantage of you right now. Because a lot of our people, and that's unfortunate, man, the creator knows that's unfortunate that a lot of our people are willing to be guinea pigs for something so stupid that they think they're getting a benefit out of that. Look, now, nah, but this graph say I'm 35% that, 40% that, and they didn't come with no names about your family here. Yeah? You cannot use that result test from some fraudulent genealogy DNA test. You can't use that in the courtroom. You can't. Right now, if you tried to sue any of these Indian nations right now with that, it ain't gonna work. The only thing that you can sue these Indian nations for is fraudulent paperwork. And that's why some of those so-called Native Americans mad at me now. Don't get it twisted. A lot of them are on my side. They know the truth. But some of them, some of them know what's going on. A lot of them know that their people did not, were not indigenous or primordial to this land. Some of some people would call them mongoloids. Some people would call them mestizos. They are a mixed breed. This is the reason why you mistaken them for Mexicans. And that's a derogatory term. Mongoloids are Asian. A group of Asians. And they looking like both for a reason because they're not indigenous to this land. And they looking like both for a reason because they are not indigenous to this land. You didn't see, um, I'm talking about all of those pictures I showed you, not only pictures, all of those little statues that they tried to create around that time. I showed, look, look at the, um, uh, tobacco store statues I showed you as well. Every single one of them was of color and had so-called Negroid facial features. And that's another thing, the features. Let me explain that. Then the pan goofy's gonna turn around and say, well, but that person looked like an African. But that person looked like, look at the feet. You doing the exact same thing them racist white folk did, didn't you? Ain't you doing the same thing? You going, you're not gonna judge me by what I say who I am. <clears throat> you're gonna judge me based off of facial features here. Shooting yourself in the foot. That's all they do is contradict themselves. This is the reason why the Pan-African movement is dead, been dead. And they still trying to hold on for dead life. And the reason why they still around is because the government is paying them to infiltrate our movements. Because they see it's coming up. They know it's coming up. They know it's working. So not only are we exposing our own people for the good measure of it, we're exposing the foreigners that ain't supposed to be here. And it's a lot of them. It's a ton of them. And they, they walking around like everything cool, but they know for, uh, that's why some of them Native Americans are mad at me right now. Because they know for a fact that their time is limited. 
When I, I'm talking about when I put up that video, they were pissed the F off here. Pissed. And notice how they don't never tell you where their people came from. They can't prove it. I remember one time some of them was trying to say that, um, yeah, their people were dark skin, but then they forced their people to be bleached while they were in school. Some of that is true, though. <laughs> some of that is true. That's not a lie. Some of them that were dark skin, they was trying to force them to be bleached. That's true. I'm gonna put that out as well. But a ton of your people, I'm talking about the Native Americans now. I'm talking about your original people are not from here. None, not, say, not any one of them. And I dare you to prove me wrong. I dare you, dare you. And if you want to trust the science, the science proved that, <laughs> right? They saying that you from Siberia, right? You Siberians, right? Now tell me I'm lying. Tell me that the science is not saying that you Siberian. And Siberian ain't got nothing to do with America, right? This is the reason why y'all not trying to use the term Native American no more. Correction. This is the reason why y'all not trying to use the term American Indian no more. Correction. American Indian. Y'all not trying to use that. The reason why is because you have no right to use that. That's a totally different group. So any of them pan goofies out there trying to say that you trying to be Native American, tell them, no, we're not. The Native Americans trying to be like us here. It's up. Oh, okay, I reloaded. Let's go. And also, just in case there are some misconceptions of what an Aboriginal is, the Latin ab means origin. And according to the 1828 Webster's English Language Dictionary, the term Aboriginal is an adjective meaning first, original, primitive. Aboriginal people are the first inhabitants of a country, Aboriginal tribes of America. And then it goes further stating that the adjective aboriginal is defined as an original or primitive inhabitant. The first settlers in a country are called aboriginals as the Selks in Europe and Indians in America. In this same dictionary, you Hold up. Hold up. Come back a tad bit. In a country are called aboriginals as the Selks in Europe and Indians in America. Rule in laugh. As and Indians in America. Look, y'all, look how the term Indians is tied right with Aboriginal. Right there. Remember, we went over Noah Webster. I'm going to bring it back up slightly. I'm going to just tell you slightly. Noah Webster Foundation told you that Noah Webster took 26 indigenous languages smashed them together and created the English language created the English language by taking our indigenous tongues and mashing them together that video is out on my channel right now it's called the untold truth about the English language you don't believe me good I dare you to write it down and look it up the same dictionary you will see the term Indian as a noun defined as a general name of any native of the Indies as an East Indian or West Indian. It is particularly meaning distinctively applied to any native of the American continent. Right there alone informs the individual that Indian was not only used as a term that describes Aboriginal Nijis of the southern parts of Turtle Island. It was also used to describe all people of the American continent. And so if the West Indians were of various copper brown skin tones, then this dictionary defines who within its definition of the noun America. It says a native of America originally applied to the aboriginals, see, or copper colored races 
meaning darkened skin tone, found here by the Europeans, but now applied to the descendants of Europeans born in America, meaning... Let it sink in. Ink foreign immigrants, and that's including those who are Europeans, but now applied to the descendants of Europeans born in America, meaning foreign immigrants, and that's including those who have dual citizenship. Woo! That's true. It's not a coincidence that after all of these years of being called things we didn't create, like black, African American, Negro, Creole, colored, that we now finally see what took so long to find out the truth about our real identities. Mm -hmm. No one was about to stick out their necks and give us the truth if their intent was malicious to begin with. It was truly up to us to investigate these stories that are classified as American history for ourselves. That's right. Due to having the majority of the so-called authorities of history only being limited to just narrowly regurgitating information that we were taught throughout compulsory educational institutions, headed by those who do not have your best interests in mind. Because if they did, you will be allowed the right to not be indoctrinated by their industrial-based curriculums uncritically. Uncritically. And I will not stop repeating this message to our people because a lot of our people have no idea. And this is why I'm here. So without further ado, now I'm going to play this clip. So hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me drop a bomb. Y'all know, shout out to Resident Evil. Y'all know I love Resident Evil music. That's why you hear the safe room music in the back. We in the safe zone. We in the safe room. We good to go. Um, But shout out to you. Uh, Shout out to those of you that became new members. Uh, power to the gods. Thank you for becoming a member. And Shantae Thompson, thank you for becoming a member. I think I missed a couple of them. Um, I could go back here in a second. Hold up. I'm about to pull that up so I can make sure I see it. Cause we ain't having that. We about to we about to shout everybody out that became new members. I'm not doing that. Hold up. All right, alerts. Hold up. Here go my mother calling me. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ma. I'm I'm live right now, Ma. Oh, dang. Yeah, I'm what live. Channel? What channel? I'm yeah. I'm I'm on I'm on the main channel. Tell that they can hear you. Tell everybody hi, my old CEO. Oh, CEO, CEO. Yeah, they, um, I, you probably, yeah, I'm live right now, mom. <laughs> I mean, right. but you, when you call, yes, you stop everything. You important. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. All right. All right. I'll, I'll listen out. Okay. Yeah. When I, and then you could call right after I'm finished, mom. All right. Okay, mom. Bye. All right. Um, hold on. Let me pull this up. See how y'all look. I ain't. I ain't got no. Ain't no shame. I been let y'all know right now. My my, my call. My wife called. They, they. Whoop. I gotta stop what I'm doing, y'all. Um. What was I doing? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hold up. I'm getting in now. Recent. Okay. And here we go. So I'm not sure who was first. Hold up. Okay, Cassandra Tennant. Cassandra Tennant, thank you for becoming a member. Oh, no, she gifted members. Thank you for gifting the memberships. You did a couple of them right there. I appreciate that, sister. Thank you. I think I remember. Hold on. I remember that Corey. I remember Corey Jones and uh, Who Bars Lifestyle gifted a membership as well. Thank you, Who Bars Lifestyle. I appreciate that. And Shantae, okay, I'm not behind. So I missed that. I mean, I didn't miss anything. I'm good to go. Good to go. All right. So let's go. Drop a bomb for my dudes.
You understand what I'm saying? I appreciate that, Levante. Yeah, shout out to the shout out. I mean, that's Big Chief. That's Big Chief right there. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be here. You understand what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be here. You know? I appreciate that. I appreciate y'all showing love in the chat like that, too. I appreciate that. This is the reason why y'all have to respect the women. Yeah, I mean, we, we you know, as far as the men, we're the producers. But the women are the directors. Like, they direct it right away. Like, whether they want to have a child or not, it's up to them. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> whether they want to have a family or not, it's up to them. Okay? We just supposed to be, yes, we supposed to be the producers. They the director. This is the reason why I, I, I mean, I know, you know, some people out there that are single, but, you know, you don't got to be single all your life. You know, I'm going to recommend that you, you know, settle down. I'm that type of person. You know, I'm that type of person I would love for you to settle down. I mean, with the right one, though, not just anybody. With the right one. With the right one. Um, Trinita Burdine, I appreciate that, sister. Thank you for becoming a member. And Amaru Khan, thank you for becoming a member. Yeah, that's the original name. Amaru? Oh, oh yeah, Dane Calloway already know. Interesta Abad, thank you. I appreciate that, sister. Thank you for becoming a member. Love Jones in the building. Why don't I get my notifications? It's YouTube. Beat them up, Love Jones. Beat them up. Put the box of gloves on. Give them that New York accent. Yo, yo, what's up, man? Like, yo, yo, what you mean? Like, why I ain't get that? Give it to him, Miss Love Jones. Give it to him. Beat them up. See your ball styles in the building. I see you, sister. Late for class, sleepy Montana. You good, brother? Now you good? We just getting started. We just getting started. It be pissing me off too, sister. Like they they know what they doing. Blue Dream, I see you in the building, sis. Dre and need you. What's going on, brother? Y'all saw my little New York accent. Like I look, look never mind, never mind. Here we go. So hold on, you said um. Marcus Garvey, Holly Selassie. Repeat that again. Holly Selassie is a anyway. Holly Selassie is not who was cool. Oh. To tell us. Oh, okay, hold on. I, I cut out where he said cracker. He's saying cracker. Where you where you hear the C. There was no Africa. There was never any segregation. Hold on, hold on, let me back up. She is a cracker anyway. Hold on. So hold on, you said um Marcus Garvey, Holly Selassie. Repeat that again. Holly Selassie is a cracker anyway. Holly Selassie is not who was cool to tell us that there was no Africa. There was never any segregation before Selassie. Selassie was never here to tell us that there is nothing else. The art is divided. My brother, you can drive from here to Mali. And in any way, there was no Mali empire too, my brother. If we were to live in Mali, and you talk of Mansa Musa as her rich mom, you will see it in Mali. We were never there. The time of Roosevelt. Okay, y'all heard that, right? He said there was no Mali empire. He said, like, as far as the Africans are concerned, they were never there. Y'all heard that, right? We could, we could, we could keep it moving. We good? Oh, see you, Miss Carla. How are you? SCW, thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate that. We good? Yeah, we can hear. Miss Aileen Jones, thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate that. Catrice Williams, thank you for becoming a member. <laughs> Enjoy your fictional stream. <laughs> Clickbait. <laughs> Look, they mad, y'all. Look. <laughs> they mad in the comments. They just want some clout. Look. Look, they mad now. <laughs> they didn't want this to play. 
They don't want to hear from an African, huh? No, no, that's not true. He not even a real African. Look, they get mad. Look, look. Don't block him. Don't block him. Let him get mad in the comments. Let him get mad. What, what my, uh, hold on, let me see. <laughs> they mad. <laughs> now, don't snipe him. Don't snipe him. I mean, when he get disrespectful, pull him snipers out, okay? When he get disrespectful. Well, let him, let him sit back and watch. He gonna be mad. Let him sit back and watch. <laughs> And this ain't even me. This is coming from out of a so-called African man's mouth. What? Chalasi was never here to tell us, man. There is nothing else. The earth is divided. My brother, you can drive from here to Mali. And in any way, there was no Mali empire too, my brother. If we were to live in Mali, and you talk of Mansha Musa as how rich mom, you will see it in Mali. We were never there. We were never there. The time of Roosevelt, before Second World War, this is the time we moved to Africa because of segregation. Okay. During Second World War, he said during the Second World War, this is the time where we moved to Africa because of segregation. Listen to what he's saying. So if Marcus Gavi was here, who want to be there, he wouldn't go and recline in England. The same people that created this mishap. Don't forget, the same people that created this mishap. Listen to what he said. He said if Marcus Gavi wanted to be there, he would have went there during that time period, but he didn't. He went to London. Okay, don't forget, this is, this is where he was buried at. I'm showing you that on the screen right there. It said died in London, June 10th, 1940. I'm dropping a bomb. That's why a lot of the people, like as far as the Jamaicans, they understand, they know that he was nothing but an agent. So you can take that how you want it. It's a lot of people of his own people know for a fact that he was nothing but an agent. Because he, he never went to Africa. He did all that, wanting to create nationalism and stuff like that. Oh, we need to go to Africa and set up an establishment. And he never went. Why did he go to London, England? Why? When his whole movement was about trying to get people to go to Africa. What happened? Somebody said Jamaica deported Marcus Garvey. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's why he couldn't go back. See there? I'm just saying. He did all that trash talking. All that trash talking. Now, he was from Jamaica. He was a Jamaican. Uh-oh, Juneteenth. Uh-oh, somebody caught that. Died June 10th, huh? Somebody caught that. Dropping the ball. Look, that's why I love y'all. And look, notice, notice on, it says dedicated. Can y'all see this? It says dedicated to all Africans with the K. With the K. What I tell y'all about Africans with a K, they're called Afrikaners. And they speak Afrikaans. And those are all pale faces of Dutch descent. Woo! See how them pan goofies don't want to, they don't want to debunk that, do they? They get mad at that. I know y'all watching. Y'all mad at that, ain't y'all? That's the truth. Still to this day, I put that on the screen with evidence and showed you primary sources on that. Not only that, I showed you video evidence that the Afrikaners were upset because them, the real South Africans that were being uh, labeled as Bantu, which is another derogatory term, they stepped up and kicked them fools out and took over their government. And I told y'all that's what we need to do. That's what we need to do. They took everything back, took it all over here, took it over took it over they couldn't do nothing crying over here to the u.s for some help and the u.s was like you on your own and, and garvey got the nerve to be shouting the white folks out here that are dutch descent here this ain't no joke anything i'm stating you can look up right now and verify everything is publicly verifiable i'm not talking out the side of my neck here if you don't believe that i put it up go back on my videos you'll find it it's there it's there. Shout out to Keith Bridges. Thank you, brother, for becoming a member. 
And Shanaynay, thank you for the uh, donation, sister. Thank you for the donation. James Kelly, thank you for becoming a member. And uh, Miss Darlene Lee, double up. Thank you, sister. I appreciate that. I appreciate that, Miss Darlene. Thank you for looking out. YouTube blocks their information about South Africa. South Africa regaining the land. They do. This is the reason why some of those videos where I posted that the views are low. If you notice that, and it be the good ones too, that they make sure they 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 nullify it. They slow it down. They slow it down. They they make sure people don't get a chance to see it. And I put it up on the screen more than once. That's how I know they're doing that purposely. But yes, the Afrikaners are of Dutch descent and they speak Afrikaans. That's the language that they created. And it has the letter K in it. This is how you know for a fact that Marcus Garvey was not working for our people. Keep in mind, if you look closely, it says by the African Advancement Association. By the African, with the K, Advancement Association. Now, wait a minute, y'all. Wait a minute. What did they say his association was? Look at, look, look. What did they say his association was? He was a Pan-African nationalist, right? What was his association? And then, you know, everybody that moved, and he gonna talk about this too. The same guy gonna be talking about that, the, the Garveyites and stuff like that. So hold on for a second. What, what was his, anybody in the chat? He was, what was he the founder of? He founded a particular movement. No, nah, not the Black Panthers. Uh-uh. <laughs> Somebody said that. <laughs> and sister said the Condon Association. <laughs> Jamaican Corporation, uh-uh. Not the NAACP, not SNCC. No, nah, uh-uh, not none of that. It was way before SNCC. Mm-mm. Come back a little more. Okay, the UNIA. There we go. The UNIA. What does the UNIA stand for? That's correct. Yes, NRBG. That is absolutely correct. That was the that was their little thing. But what did the UNIA stand for? This is how important it is. Keep in mind he buried in London. They saying that he's from uh, uh, St. Anne Bay, Jamaica. August 17th, 1887. There you go. Look, y'all. Look. Look at Levante. Universal Negro Improvement Association. Universal Negro Improvement Association. Yeah, then he had the African Communities League. But I'm talking about, yeah, he founded both of them, actually, if I'm not mistaken. But the Universal Negro Improvement Association was all about trying to send us to Africa. That fool never visited. He never stepped foot on that continent here. Never. And he was a Catholic on top of that. Yes, somebody just said that means Catholic construction. Uh-oh, hold up. And he was a Catholic. Fraternal organization. It's going right back to him, right? Skull and bones. No, 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 Pan Goofy, stay here so y'all can learn something. No, nah, don't leave, Pan Goofy, stay here. You're always holding this fool up high. He was a knight. Oh, 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 look at, look at Thunder Sam. Uh oh. He was a knight. Look at what he wore. Look at the outfit. Look at that. Look at that. And here go another. Look, they might be, you know, jaw this, jaw that. Who is this? Who is this? 
Nah, it wasn't no dashikis back then. Nope. Mm-mm. Look at his outfit. Tried to make it look like he was a like like you thought he was some in some type of militia, right? Templar Knights. Mm-hmm. Up under the British crown. Here we go. Uh-huh. That's Holly Selassie. There y'all go. I love y'all. I'm drop. Hey. Hey. Big claps for y'all. That's right. Are the Royal Guard. There y'all go. So y'all know they working for the Vatican, di Vatican directly here. Yeah. Directly. And look, certain people out there putting them up high. Putting them up high, saying they was doing the right thing. There's certain people out there putting them up high. And they working for the colonizers. Yes, he did the PPP also. I'm not sure Bob Molly was putting him up high. I'm not sure. Could have been. He could have been because he was like, once again, they, you know, they Jamaican. They, you know, I'm not sure. I can't speak on, you know, what Bob Molly was doing. I can't speak on that. But if he was, then, you know, Bob Molly was led astray. But Bob Molly was a spiritual person anyway. So I'm sure he wasn't like, once again, I can't speak for him, but I, I mean, based off of what I remember, he's not going to, you know, tie himself up with what these people were doing. He might've mentioned him though. I, I wouldn't put it past him. Oh, he did mention him in a few songs. Okay. He did. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Rastafarian, right, right. And they, you know, and they praised Ja. He did that. That was him. But they were up under the, yeah, Catholic regime. Yeah, that's what, that's what led astray was, bamboozled. That's what that means. I must have just said led astray. Yeah, I, I, yep, basically, he was bamboozled. These people did not have our people's interests, best interests of mind. Yes, and so was, yes, look, look how you connect in the dots. Martin Luther King was not just any Christy, you know, Christianity or Christian pastor. He was a Catholic Christian pastor. Look how it all tied together. Yes. Remember I went over that? I'm I, I'm so glad you said that Knight Commander of the Subline Order of the Now. Remember I went over the Order of the Now? That was in um I believe it was that same one when I went over um church and state. No, that could have been a live stream. Y'all should be familiar with that. Order of the Now. Y'all should be. Let me know if y'all not. I'll go over that in a later time. I'll go over that. It does get deep. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Nah, they weren't trying to take Catholics out. They were trying to keep Catholics up. The illuminated ones, so-called Illuminati was against the Catholics. This is where you have a lot of those secret societies branching off, still believing in certain, you know, similar things. But yes, the, the Catholics was at the top. The Catholics was at the top. When it comes to colonialism. Yes, the Catholics is behind everything. Doctrine of discovery. That's right. Mac Lover, you are absolutely correct. Now, why is it hide? Why is that hiding? Hold on. Let me unhide that. That that's true. And he ain't say nothing wrong. YouTube. He's telling the truth. Yes, they made you believe that Illuminati was evil. Depending on who looks at that, though, like I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend that you join them. But they are multiple secret societies. They are the illuminated ones. 
Those are the ones that were against the Catholics. But they weren't working in our people's favor. I can tell you that. They were working in their own people's favor. That's not something that you get with. You understand what I'm saying? That's not something like, oh, yeah, they would. Nah, man. No, that ain't it. <laughs> that ain't it. None of those societies are for us. None of them. They're all foreign base. Yes. Yeah, I remember now when you said it too, I had to get the full title of his, of his ranking. Yep. He definitely a goofy. He, he's a, I'm talking about enemy now. Enemy, big time. Betrayed his own people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Jesuits are behind the Catholics. They with the Catholics. That's who's funding them. Yeah, I would say the Illuminati is evil based. I would. I, I I highly recommend that nobody get with them. I'm talking about each and every one of their societies. This is more than one. Yes, you it. It's so simple. It, uh, Dark Moon God is yes. If you put, if you put the pieces together, you're gonna be able to. All you gotta do is follow the money. You can see where all this stuff happened. What happened? Yes, they are. And they infiltrated all the H, all of them, all the HBCUs, our fraternities and sororities, our foreign societies. That is absolutely correct, Levante. Absolutely. I wouldn't say Africans were the first black traders, but technically, yeah, if you think about it, because they were selling out their own people. They were. Those that didn't agree to certain religious practices, yeah, they, they held them down. Yes, they, yes, Brother Coleman, they used the Catholic Church to do their bidding. They sure did. The Vat no, the Vatican not only mixed them with them, the Vatican is them. That is them. We talking about the same people. Yep. And some of them followed by the little Greek mythology, Roman mythology. Yes, they did. Still do. Yes. Just lower rank. That's right. Brother Coleman, you know. Yes. The Vatican is them. Definitely. And yeah, in the name of Jesus, uh huh. It was high. Some of that was hijacked, the boys. Some of it, not all of it, but some of it was, because a lot of the skull and bones was here too. That's a totally different topic. I might have to get into that at a later time, because I don't want to confuse you. But they did borrow certain people's cultures, mash them together to create their own. Keep in mind, our enemies never had their own uh, culture. They just borrowed from others and put it together. Whatever they wanted to use. That's correct. Yes, they worship many gods. That is correct. Look how they were putting the pharaohs up high. They were putting the pharaohs up high. And didn't the pharaohs betray their people? Not, no, nah, they didn't borrow the last names. They took the last names purposely. They took our last names. That was purposely done. That was another move for them to get our land. So to make it, you know, so they can make pretend like they were related to us by way of last name affiliation. They took it. That, that was done. That was a part of the dis, uh, Doctrine of Discovery. Somebody brought that up earlier. Yeah. Traitors and traitors. That's correct. Traitors. Every single one of them. But that's why they want to take control of the trade still to this day. This is the reason why they told you that the Mississippi River is dry. That's a lie. They just want to redirect those streams to come closer to them. Bombing it with dynamite. I was telling y'all that in my early stages in on YouTube. I said, look, they're going to try to redirect it. And sure enough, they were redirecting it. They were redirecting it so fast, I never got a chance to put out my video on Atlantis. But that's going to come out, though. 
We still working on that because I want you to not only just hear me, I want you to see it. Certain parts that we were able to travel to that we captured, I want you to see that thing on screen. Atlantis is here. That's a whole nother story. But yes, Atlantis is live and well. It's not gone. It's not up under it's not up underwater. Certain parts of Atlantis is up underwater. Not all of it. When they say Atlantis, think America. We are the real Atlanteans. That is absolutely correct. And that's documented. Look how spiritual it get. They know who look. When somebody say this is spiritual warfare, this has all to do with our people against their people. That's spirituality against religion. Look, look how deep it get. That's why they want more of y'all to become Christians. They want more of y'all to become, you know what I'm saying? Muslims tied to certain religious practices and beliefs and traditions. That ain't got nothing to do with our people at all. Not from here. Not from here. Yes, we are the oldest world. We are the oldest. They know that. This is the motherland. Gadwana. This is Gadwana. They know that. Look how they had they hiding Gadwana. They distracting you. Trying to put out Pangea. I think, matter of fact, this guy's gonna talk about that too. We still connected. I told y'all this a long time ago. Accretion means that water rise. That didn't. That doesn't mean that land disappeared. That just means that land is up under water. But that doesn't mean that we separated. No, Gondwana, Gondwana, Gondwana. There, there you go. Akita did it. Gondwana. You can look that up. We're still connected. Still, right now there ain't, ain't no ain't no separation. That's why Atlantis is still alive and well, and they know that. If you listen to the white folks that were shouting me out multiple times um, on their podcast and stuff like that, a lot of them were bringing up the fact that I did my research on Gondwana. A lot of them were talking about the mud floods. Remember the mud floods? Look, CEO Ball Stars just said that. They flooded it out, but water is coming back. Yeah, I remember the story about the mud floods, right? If you go back on my channel, I'm telling you what happened. Some, now, some of this is in the Bible, some of this, but it's all in how you decode it. But the mud floods, I, I mean, I'm telling you, this, this is another reason why I want to go further when it comes to spirituality. Because then you're going to realize the reason why they were trying to redirect everybody off of America and onto Africa. Because America is the new world to them, old to us and everybody else. But that would be the new world to them spiritually. Takeover. The takeover. Yeah, Tartarian, and didn't they call them the Barbarian? Barbarian, Tartarian. Look, look, match it up. You can, you can see this right now. Match it up. That's why I told y'all, like, if you religious, stay here. You're going to learn so much. It's going to connect the dots. If you look at the comments, the Hebrew Israelites, the Christians, they love me. The Moors, the, the you know, I'm talking about the ones that's tied with Islam. They love me because I'm literally putting that shit together without using the Bible. I'm using research to verify that a lot of the stuff is real, but they pointed you in the wrong direction. And then, and then they told you, right, we are the natural resource. That's right. And then they told you that certain places that they're referring to in, in the Bible, is in Africa when that can't be verified. It was here and that can be verified.
Think about that. If they went on a journey to go towards a new world, now, you know, uh, the Bible, the Biblios, I showed you that too, Biblios. Those are multiple books. Books of what? Journals. Journals. Documenting what they saw here when they came here. And then they passed it out to their people. Look, this is what we saw, y'all. As if it was a newspaper, same way. Look, then they turned around, manipulated it, twisted and turned some stories, took 66 books out, slapped King James on it, 1614, here come the King James version. And they told you, no, this is what you're going to learn now. See there? This is what you're going to learn now. And they got your mind on Israel, uh, Jerusalem, yeah, somebody just said it, Egypt, they got, uh, uh, they telling you that it's everywhere else. But here, I showed you Jerusalem on camera, <laughs> traveled there. I showed you Jerusalem. Matter of fact, I think that was one of the videos that went viral. I think that's over a million. I could be wrong. I forgot where it's at, but I know it went viral. I was not playing. I said, here go Jerusalem right here, right here. Um, and we're going to do more of that. I'm not playing. I ain't finished with the Grand Canyon. I'm not finished. I'm not finished. They hiding Grand Canyon though. Y'all know you yeah, look, look, y'all know what's going on. Look, this is the reason why they don't want you to go to Grand Canyon and, uh, and record certain things, certain things. I'm not going to state right here. Somebody listening. I don't want them to know everything that I know, but they hiding a lot. Put it like that. All of a sudden, they want to send over the big statues that's eight to 10 feet tall to other parts of the world. They never told you how they did that. When they found the original of those big, those giant heads, the statues over here, over here, that goes to show you where the giants was located. That goes to show you where the giants were located. Uh oh, I'm talking about big cities that had big steps that only giants could take here. Still here, they can't move that. And we ain't even gonna get on the pyramids because we'll kill them every time on the pyramids or how many pyramids are there or how many pyramids are here. Look, excluding the mounds, goddammit. The pyramids all over. I'm talking about big, if you have a, look them up. If you have, I wish I could, mm, ooh, remind me y'all in the 13% server to come to this. I, I got big pictures of what, of what I'm talking about. Right now, authentic, these places are still here. Who you think built them castles? I'm talking about that's here. They think I'm talking about uh, all these little, the 13 families was, uh, Owning. How you gonna own those castles? You in a whole nother area. Never came here to visit. I don't wanna hear that. You never told them who built them castles, top to bottom. And you think our people was living in tents? You think our people was living in teepees? When we building castles? You out your mind. That's way before them foreigners came here. Way before. Vanderbilt and all the rest of them. But Vanderbilt don't own, look, I, look, I, look, I'm trying to tell you, it's a whole lot of changes we gotta make. Pick a Vanderbilt castle, pick it, travel there. I'm talking about look at the, I'm talking about look, y'all. Look at the structures. They don't got that where they from. They don't have that now, right now. And you mean to tell me they was able to come here and make that? No, it was already there. Our big chiefs was in them castles. I 
I'm talking about the yard. You got to call that a f whole football field. L bigger than that. Trees, beauty. I put, I, I'm so glad I thought about this. I'm about to do, I'm about to show y'all. I'm about to show y'all. And I got stuff on camera. I traveled there. I'm talking about to multiple different castles. Ask my wife. She was with me. We couldn't believe how big these castles are. Ain't no, ain't near one of them foreigners build that. None of them. And look who was taking care of them. Our people. That's another thing. Our people was taking care of them. Matter of fact, they had their own suites that was down the street. You know, the ones that they want to call slaves was living luxurious to upkeep them castles. I got that on camera. I was, man, I was so touching. That was so touching to me. My people are geniuses. And look at how they trying to make us look right now. They trying to make us look like we are nowhere near above. We just beyond below. This how deep it get. Yeah, this is spiritual warfare. Yes, it is. Yeah, the Biltmores, the Biltmore castles of North Carolina, talk to them. They just slapping their last names on. They ain't built none of that. Been here before they was born. All them underground tunnels I showed you, all of them. Come, they didn't build none of that. They gonna try to say the Chinese did it. In 1850, I was like, shut up. You at war with the China, or you at war with Asia technically, but oh no, but some of them were able to come around and start building underground. Now they got whole cities underground. Now they got whole cities underground. Even got their own means of transportation by way of train floating on water. I showed you that. I put that on camera. And we go, we just going to let them have our shit. Holly Selassie and Marcus Garvey working with the colonizers, working for them. And you gonna hold these niggas up high? When I say nigga, that's an ignorant fool. I'm not talking about skin complexion. That's an ignorant fool. A traitor. Let's get back to this. Let's get back to this. Ali Selassie. Repeat that again. Ali Selassie is a Anyway, Ali Salasi is not who was called to tell us that there was no Africa, there was never any segregation before Salasi. Salasi was never here to tell us that there is nothing else, the earth is divided. My brother, you can drive from here to Mali. And in any way, there was no Mali empire too, my brother. If we were to live in Mali, and you talk of Mansa Musa as how rich mom, you will see it in Mali. We were never there. The time of Roosevelt, before Second World War, this is the time we moved to Africa because of segregation. So if Marcus Garvey was here, who want to be there, he wouldn't go and recline in England. The same people that created this mishap. Uh-huh. And he's not yeah, lying. So Marcus Garvey was created by the crowd. And the crowd is sitting here. And anyway, I want to tell you of this and anyhow of the net anyway. Because I've been on the net 
but they blocked me anyway. Hold on, anyway, hold on. Uh, you saying Marcus Garvey was created by the? Yes. Why would you say that, man? I'm, I'm telling you, fuck. Because he that's what we went for. Garvey. And when you talk of what Isna you talk of, um, uh, Malcolm X. As you talk of Malcolm X father was a Gavi, you have to understand there what Alex Haley wrote, the character was who played him. For what is now what Alex Haley wrote, if you go to the town and ask them now, was anybody here, they would tell you that no one was here. Uh oh. So if I tell you that there was no Gambia, I'm telling you fact because uh -oh. I am in tune with who I am. Cause he's in tune with okay. who he is. So who are the blacks in America? Who are the black the, people in America? The blacks been in America been living here ever since. They are aboriginals. Talk the blacks been in America been living here ever since. They are aboriginals. The so, blacks in West Africa just recently left where they were staying. Listen, the blacks in West Africa just recently left where they were staying. Pay attention to what he's saying. Yeah, ever since they are aboriginals. The so, blacks in West Africa just recently left where they were staying. Arabia, Europe, Northern Africa. Hold on, Caribbean, Europe, Northern Africa. America here. America here. All about to All go about there because of segregation. To go there because of segregation, y'all. This is an I, I, look where the pan goofy's at. Why y'all not in the chat? All that trash talking y'all do online. Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Why y'all not in my chat now? Where y'all at? All that I'ma make a Dane. I'ma make a video about Dane. Dane debunk. Dane this. Dane that. Where y'all at? West Africa wasn't even populated until they sent people there. And I showed you that, and that's in my book as well. It was told in reverse. The untold truth about the transatlantic slave trade. Where y'all at? No, no, you taking it out of context. That's not what he said. Oh, for real? Say no more. Let me go back in tune with who I am. Okay, so who are the blacks in America? Who are the black the people in America? One more time for The blacks been in America been living here ever since. They are aboriginals. The blacks been in America been living here ever since. They are aboriginals. The so, blacks in West Africa just recently left where they were staying, Arabia, Europe, Northern Africa, America here, all about to go there because of segregation. To go there, West Africa, because of segregation, I dare each and every one of you pan goofies, you Umar Johnsons and all the rest of y'all. And see, Umar Johnson don't want no smoke calling himself the prince of paying goofies. He don't want no smoke. That's why he run to uh, little, little interviewers that's trying. And then he talk about me. Never want to come see me for real and do a real debate where I put that stuff up record by record. You're not going to be able to prove. You are not going to be able to prove that West Africa was populated. That debunks anybody out there that says that they captured us from West Africa when West Africa wasn't even populated. And that's a so-called African telling you. Telling you. And you can't believe it. You think he wrong. How? When he from there? You not. You can't pick up the phone and call an African diaspora <laughs> descendant right now. Right now, Goofy. 
I heard them say they called me the uh they called me the godfather of the aboriginals, the, the godfather of the American Indians. Uh somebody on TikTok said I'm the final boss of the American No, he said pretendians. I'm the final boss of the pretend We're pretending? Are we pretending to be the people that we are? No. Nah. <laughs> no? Uh-uh, where is that? And look, now one of them put up who their people are. They can't do it. Now one of them put up who their people are. They can't do it. And we ain't talking about no 1900 census. Go up. The census started in the 1790s. I dare you to show your 1800 U.S. census records of your family, and you better verify that that's your family here. And you better not show no record that say 1800 U.S. census, and they were labeled as African because the term African was never an option by the U.S. census still to this day. Still to this day. Africa was never African was never an option for you to utilize or for those enumerators to utilize to could classify your tail as I dare you. This is the reason why they scared of me. This is the reason why I shout out to all my people up New York that was coming at them people that be in New York, just like this gentleman here. He's saying, y'all saying all this in East New York. But I got love for New York because I got family out in New York. One, two, I got people that know that I'm not playing out in New York here. We were taught this BS by infiltrators. They infiltrated our people at the top of the 1900s even further with this information. They started so-called schools and everything so y'all could get with these people and run with the same lie over and over and over again. And them people out in New York coming at y'all. You ever heard of Dane Calloway? And you know what they saying? Them pan goofies? Don't talk about him. He's pseudo. He's pseudo. And most of them can't even spell pseudo. They're using it out of context. <laughs> You got to be able to prove that I am in order for you to say that. Not just based off of your opinion because you can't debunk anything that I'm saying. You got to put up records. Publicly verifiable records. You got to put in work. Just like how I did, homeboy. That's the reason why you know me now. Here. Because if I was telling a lie, everybody would have pointed that out by now. And I mean everybody. If I had an agenda, everybody would have pointed that out right now. I'm the only YouTuber right now with this type of, with, with, I'm talking about with this type of reach that got his real name out there. Dane Calloway. Because I ain't got nothing to hide. Nothing. You could try to slow me down, but I'm built just like a Hemi. And I'm talking about the engine. I'm going to keep pushing. And with the things that I do for my spirituality, tune my engine and keep it pushing. I'm gonna put a lot of miles on this engine here. You ain't gonna be able to stop me. You can't even catch up. This hit me too quick. Y'all gonna have to start cheating and get them EVs. <laughs> Look. You heard what this brother said and what he got. What was his reason to lie? He teaching. You should have been listening.
I love that. Where they were staying, Arabia, Europe, Northern Africa, America here, all about to go there because of segregation. And the land is still joined, my brother. When we uh -oh. talk of Pangea and how the land break, why well, they've been laughing at us for talking of what is there. It's not even there. Listen, y'all, my God, listen. When they talk of Pangea, listen, y'all, please. I hope y'all hear what he's saying, man. L listen, one more time. They left where they were staying, Arabia, Europe, Northern Africa, America here, all about to go there because of segregation. And the land is still joined, my brother. Really? And the land is still joined, my brother. And then he come in and say, and when he talk of pain, land break, or they be laughing at us. And how the land break, or they be laughing at us. For talking of what is there, it's not even there. We talk about what is there, it's not even there. Listen to him. And the land is still joined, my brother. When we talk of Pangea and how the land break, or they be laughing at us. For talking of what is there, it's not even there. I, I didn't know okay, that I so, repeated that. Um, the African, the black man here in America, are they African people? Look, he couldn't even cope with that. Look, now he's trying to ask the same question in a different way. He can't even cope with that. Pang Where did they come from? The blacks living here in the area you are referring to America. Pardon me anyway, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I'm sorry. Anyway. Pardon me, yeah. Look how the oh, spirit work. <laughs> look, look how the spirit work. His children was catting the ball. Right there. Look, look how the spirit work. He was about to break that down and his children walked in. Daddy, look. African, the black man here in America, are they African like he people? Couldn't, Where did look, they he couldn't come understand from? It that, he couldn't understand the it the first time. living here in the area you are referring to America. Pardon me anyway, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I'm sorry. Anyway. Pardon me. Yeah. Oh, okay, thank you. I'm sorry, my bro. Anyway. Brother, if you out there, reach out to me. Hello? Yes, sir, I'm here. Well, when, when you talk of America, my bro, never ever associate what America be with us anyway. For America, it's a mishap. For America, it's what is name is why we are not free anyway. But if you're talking of the blacks that live here, I want to tell you that the land is joined and the blacks and whites who were living here been here gazillions of years ago. Uh-huh. Yes. So you saying so are you saying that we didn't come from Africa? No. <laughs> so are you saying that we didn't come from Africa? No. Look, he couldn't he couldn't cope with that. He couldn't cope with that. And the people that live in West Africa were never there. And the people that live in West Africa were never there. They are yet to be there. If, anyhow, if you ask say Auntie Job, say Auntie Job parents were who found it where mom was born at. Say Auntie Job? Yes. So so we are not Africans then. The blacks in America are not African people. They are not African people anyhow. They are not African people anyhow. So who are they? There is nothing else look, in Africa. Look, 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 look. <laughs> Hold up. He couldn't cope with that. He answered the same question over and over. They are not African people anyhow. So who are they? There is nothing else in Africa too. So who are they? There is nothing else in Africa too. So so and there's nothing... There's no such thing as an African too. Technically, that's what he's telling them. They are not African people, anyhow. They are not African people, anyhow. So who are they? There is nothing else an African too. So who are they? There is nothing else an African too. So, so the, the people that live there, anyhow, I would prefer for you to refer to them as niggas anyway. So what is a nigga? This is what's called the. He's saying nigga. I had to cut that out. So nigga is not what is derogatory, my brother, anyway. Look, so, so we are N-I-G-E-R. Look how you break it down. I, uh, so, uh -huh. so we are niggas. No, no. If, if me say nigga, it's just because the crap 
cracker was who made the tail. The cracker was who said that the blacks originated from West Africa. And West Africa is the liquor. So ah. this is what Isne we've been mispronouncing. Woo! <laughs> He's saying that West Africa, listen, West Africa is nigga. Look, this is what he said. I'm gonna just, I'm just let it play. This is what he said. That West Africa was nigga. This is the reason why they tried to say that we came from West Africa. Woo! Look, look at how deep that got. Uh, anyway, so what is a nigga? This is what's called deep. So nigga is not what is derogatory, my brother. Anyway. Uh huh. So, yes. so and we are. He, uh, so, uh -huh. so we are niggas. No, no. If if me say nigga, it's just not because the cracker was who make the tail. The cracker was who said that the blacks originated from West Africa, and West Africa is the nigga. So uh -huh. this is what Isne we've been mispronouncing and saying it as Niger. But N-I-G uh, cannot be pronounced Niger, it's so, nigga. So what does nigga mean? Wait. Look, it's on the screen. What is a nigga? Like, what does that mean? It as Niger. But N-I-G uh, cannot be pronounced. So those that are saying Nigeria, it's a difference. It's a difference. He said it. Certain people were saying that it was pronounced Niger, Niger, but it's pronounced nigger. It's Niger, it's so, nigger. So what does nigger mean? What is a nigger? Like, what does that mean? West African. Oh. <laughs> yes. What does what a nigger mean? West African. Straight up. Hold up. Stand for. Niggas stand for West African. So, yes, so, we, so if we are not African, would it be fair to say that we are Hebrew Israelites? No. Oh my God, listen, listen. Look, y'all pay, it's over for y'all pay goofies. It's over. Your little top guy struggling. He, he couldn't even eat. <laughs> Set it on fire, fire. Relax fire. and take notes, take notes. Take Woo, notes. he couldn't handle that. He was like, well, well okay. But well, he already told him that we're aboriginal to this land, which is primordial, which is indigenous, okay? Whichever one you want to choose. And I showed you at the beginning of this video how that is still tied to being Indians of America. But then on top of that, he gonna turn around and say, Niggas stand for West Africans. So, yes, so, we, so if we are not African, would it be fair to say that we are Hebrew Israelites? No, Hebrew, you cannot refer to your, yourself as a Hebrew Israelite, my God. Then you are doing what is terrible. What is of the Bible is a tale, and it's so bad for you, for anyone to ever dare to even associate it with who we be. Oh, so the Bible is a false book. Yeah, the Bible is a tale. It's never a call anyway. Today, it's not as the calendar says. Look! Okay. Today is not 2016. Woo! Oh, so today's year is really not 2016. Yes. When, Look! When the Look. Made the date, Mom was just trying to bluff, to make it seem as, as if there was government, Woo! as the things that Mom claimed, as if there was a Roman Empire. Woo! This boy going in! He going in! Listen! Hold up, yeah, just a tad bit. Listen, and he's correct. On top of that, watch. Hold up, watch. False book. Yeah, the Bible is a tale. It's never a call anyway. Today is not as the calendar said. Okay. Today is not 2016. Oh, so today's year is really not 2016. He telling yes. you who created when, it. When the creator make the date. Mom was just trying to bluff, to make it seem as, as if there was government, as the things that Mom claimed, 
as if there was a Roman Empire. There was nothing as a Roman or Greek Empire. There is nothing as any Ethiopian kingdom. It's all a lie. Woo! There was no such thing as a Roman Empire, Egyptian Empire. That's all a lie. You know why he's saying that? It's because that's all religious beliefs. All religious beliefs. That's why he's saying that. Shout out to Dominion. I appreciate that, brother. That's a pay. Hey, let me double up. I appreciate that, brother. Thank you for the donation, brother. I appreciate that. Jessica, I appreciate that. Dimples the butterfly. Jessica Dimples the butterfly. I appreciate that, sister. Thank you. Y'all being kind. I appreciate that. Show some love to them in the chat, y'all. This brother right here is, look, he's telling them. But certain people are not going to be able to get it because they already tied up in Christianity. And they want to say, well, no, 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 no. Their, our God is separate from their God. But they gave this to you. They gave this to you. So which one is yours? You understand what I'm saying? This ain't, listen, y'all, this is not what y'all think this is. It's not, and it never has been. It never has been. That was purposely designed that way. So you could be uh, in, in submission to something unforeseen. Usually you would see the emperor. You would see the prime minister. You would see the king and the queen. But they telling you to believe a story as if that were true. As if that person died for us when it was your ancestors that died for us. That's what you gotta realize. Not this Roman Greek mythology bull crap. This ain't got nothing to do with us. That's straight up our enemy. Straight up, that ain't got nothing to do with us. None of our tribes prescribe to their mythology. I'm about to use that. None of our tribes prescribe to their mythology. I'm about to use that. That got to be in a bar somewhere. I'd much rather create our own ideology. You know? Not mine. I, I ain't going to. Okay, but anyway, I'm just saying. This, this is not. It ain't ours. It's not. And I've been saying that for the longest and broke that stuff down with stuff on screen so you can actually see it. Go to go back to my video on church and state. Um, what is that thing called? It's called um It was a two-part series, y'all. Ah, oh, what was the name of those videos? Because I know I didn't name it Church and State. Damn it. I might have to repost it or cuz I can't remember the name of that video right now. Both of them. Um mm, man, I can't remember it right off. I'll repost it. I'll repost it because y'all got to know. Y'all got to know. These are our enemies right here. And they use that. This is how they won. They use religion against our people. That's how. That's how. That was the that was the motive. That was to stop you from rebelling. That was to prevent halt all revolts, halt all rebellions. Right there. Because their people were dying coming over here. And again, if you get me and my wife's book, it was told in reverse, the untold truth about the transatlantic story. I tell you that right in the beginning and broke it down and gave you my sources. It's not a game. We got to change this for our people, for the betterment of our people. Universal General, thank you for becoming a member. Uh, Bianca Warren, I appreciate that. Thank you for becoming a member. Delayla Buckley. Or oh, Delilah Buckley is either Delilah Buckley or Delilah Buckley, sister. I hope I'm not mispronouncing that, sister. I appreciate that. Thank you for the five gifted memberships. Um, let me come back a tad bit because some of y'all may take that personally due to your, you know, what you subscribe to, what you know, what I did, uh, what mythology you subscribe to, because that's technically what it is. It's a myth. It's a myth. This is something that hasn't been proven. <clears throat> But he's telling you what happened. And all and all of that tied right back to the government. Notice how they said that. He said the cracker made the date. They were just trying to bluff to make it seem as if there was a government. That's what he's telling you, hands down. Straight up. Like, what? what? 
If I'm talking about a whole foreigner, I never met him a day in my life, but I've been saying the same thing and been putting it on screen. And he's telling you what happened. They created the lie. And our people fell for it. And then you regurgitating verse after verse after verse as if our people need to hear that stuff is going to make us better. But it's nothing but a myth. This entire time. Here we go. Seems as as if there was government, as the things that mom claimed, as if there it. was a Roman Empire. As if there was a Roman Empire. So that means that they're trying to mark that. Keep in mind, once again, it ties back up to the reason why they stated that this is the new world because they wanted to have control over this one, okay, to manipulate the people that were already in here, which is us, our indigenous people, our ancestors, rather, into <clears throat> uh, their religious practices and gave us, handed these st these stories, crafted these stories. Huh? 25,000? What is that? What is that? Oh, say Duke Jackson, UGX, 25,000? I don't know what that is. I appreciate that, brother. I'm not sure what that is, but I appreciate that. Oh, you're a verified account, so I know you ain't playing. I'm just not sure what that is, brother, but I appreciate that. Um, But I thank you for your, that 67 cent. Oh, 67 cent. I appreciate that. Uh, I, look, I don't turn my nose up to whatever donation. It could be low. It could be high. I'm not, you know. I'm going to shout you out. I appreciate that. So, um, anyway, yeah, they're trying to mark that as if the empire was over here, as if it was going to, you know, then take over was going to work. They did this same, And there's another thing. They did the same exact thing to them. South Africans calling them Bantus, renaming them, doing a whole bunch of bull crap. Okay. But they took it back over, got their lands back and kicked them out, kicked them Afrikaners out. Like, no, nope, ain't gonna be no empire happening here. And that's exactly what we need to do. Hands down. There was nothing as a Roman or Greek empire. There is nothing as any Ethiopian kingdom. It's all a lie. Okay. Yes, there was never any government. And this is what is I was wanting for you to understand. If we want to be free as who we be, we have to understand that we are blessed to be who we are. That's right. So we are here to stay who we are totally because we know what we be. But if you are who you are, instead of you be what you be, you be about to act as another tell you. Right. And the acting you've been acting is the cause we are of tune. And this is the cause mishap is. Mm -hmm. Okay, are you a Muslim? No, wow. what is of Muslim, Hinduism, Buddhism, in anyhow, religion totally is what Isne is why we are off link. Okay, so would it be fair to say that religion, including Islam, had destroyed us? That is like an enemy to our people. It takes us out of our true self. That's true. That's a fact. Mm-hmm. Yes. And in order for you to know yourself, you are who to stay who you are because we are all blessed equally black is white white is black anyway so we uh oh black is white white is black and he's right i told y'all that before that's why people was like no nah, you wrong you wrong but technically, it's the absence of color. If you look at it, I'm talking about historically now. Before the K was added, it was B-L-A-C. B-L-A-C. If you want to look this up to see if he's correct on your own, look it up that way. That's how you're going to be able to find a definition. Black is white. White is black. That's true. That means it's coming from pale. It's the same exact thing. I said this years ago. It's the same exact thing. And then they got the nerve to use it as our classification of race. When none of our skin complexions are black and technically none of our skin complexions are white. On a technical sense. Both of them are colorless. And when you associate color with the spirituality, if you're colorful, you're full of greatness. You're full of joy. 
You're full of benevolence. But when you're absent of that, you're absent-minded. You understand what I'm saying? Obsolete. That's, I mean, see how that's still technically, you know, along the lines of spiritual warfare. And then they got the nerve to tell the census to mark us down as black and white. As a classification. And then they hold the <clears throat> classification white up high. As if it's any different from the term black. By way of status in this government, it is. But on a technical sense, it's not. It's the exact same thing. B-L-A-C, without the K. That's how you go look up what he just said. He's absolutely correct. You got to become one with yourself to realize what happened. If the creator is not divided, what makes us divided? Absolutely. They're social constructs. That's right. Constructed to divide us socially. Yes, that it nullifies your spirituality when you're colorless. If you can't see nothing because of a bright white or dark black, you can't, you won't ever be able to see yourself. When you look in a mirror, do you really see black or do you really see white? Or do we, do you see yourself as a colorful person? And I mean that in a spiritual sense. Yeah, it blinds you. You're blind in the darkness. You're blind in the lightness. No bull. But that's we're on a spiritual sense. Blind from what? Your own self. Look how deep this get. Look how deep it get. That's how, man, I'm so glad y'all listen, and that's why I'm so glad, again, I'm about to give y'all a round of applause. I'm so glad that y'all see that because other people need to see that. If you just watching this after it was live streamed, hold up. If you just watching this after it was live streamed, look at the live chat. Look, you're not the only one. Many of us are what they want to call awake. What I tell you is cognizant. Cognizant. Angela Green, I appreciate you for becoming a member. Truth, I thank you for becoming a member. AC, thank you for becoming a member. And Nitzia, Nitzia Martin Vasquez, thank you for becoming a member, sister. I appreciate that. Yes, you got to become cognizant. You also have to become one with yourself. We had this conversation before. This is like universally known. That's why they consider it universal law. Becoming one with yourself. That is, it is difficult. It's very difficult because that means that you have to have so much confidence in yourself that you actually believe in yourself. And a part of that is knowing yourself. That is correct. Akita is correct. A part of that is knowing yourself. Knowing your inner workings, your inner doings. Because otherwise, just like this gentleman just said, somebody else is going to control that portion of you for you. This is the reason why they're programming you with so much stuff that does not make sense. That is not in your favor. Does not make sense. That is not in your favor. That is not for your well-being. It's all about division and separation and distractions. That's what they all about. But if you want to see your higher self amongst your higher self, call it out. Say higher, higher. You want to go higher, higher. Uh-oh. Call it out. Say that you want to go higher, literally higher. Uh-oh. What'd that sound like to y'all? If you're saying it out loud, that's who you are. Then you repeat it. I am, I am. You say it higher. Turn it up higher. <laughs> it's up. Uh-oh. Uh look how I connect now. Look how I connect. 
Sound familiar, don't it? That's right, Jacqueline, sound familiar, don't it? You want to see your higher self, bring it up. The only person that can bring it up is you. And what I'm talking about is, there it goes. Look, your frequency. Look at y'all. Look at y'all. I wish I could hug all of y'all right now, man. I love that. Look. Bring it up. Bring yourself up. Look at the picture. She bringing herself up. Christians would be like, no, she praising the Lord. No, she's not. She's praising nature, if anything. Not worshiping it. Just bringing it to herself, her higher self. Matter of way, that's an indigenous person. Oh, that's an EG right there. Amongst nature. She in the woods, not worried about no coyotes or nothing. No bears, no nothing. Ain't nobody gonna touch her. The sun's shining on her. It's a reason because she told the sun to shine on her. Bring it in. Higher, higher. She want to bring it in. That's right. Oh, 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 you thought I was against religious practices? No, how can I be when I'm a spiritual person? I'm against the people that created religion for malicious practice. They got malicious intent. I'm against that. I'm not against you. I'm not against you. I, like I told you, it's a lot of truth in there, but you got to decode it. People would turn their nose up at me just by saying that. But I know better here. Yeah? I know better. The creator ain't had me out here like this for, uh, you understand what I'm saying? To once again, divide the people. I'm telling you to step away from their traditional religious practices and go into your own spirituality. That's a part of you when you, before you were born. That's right, our source, your source, your source of energy. Look, go back to energy, vibrations, go back to frequency. You want to go up higher. That's the reason why they putting them towers up, trying to manipulate your frequency. Right now, certain people think it's all about electricity. Smart devices, smart TVs, smart cell phones, manipulating the frequencies, not trying to allow you to go higher and higher. Soon as you take your shoes and your socks off and you step out in that grass, soon as you take your shoes and your socks off and you step out in that grass, you lift your hands up, you close your eyes, you make yourself go higher. Do away with all the distractions because it works that way as well. When it comes to those devices, I told you about that. Three documentaries on, why is it called smart devices? Smart means harmful, I told you that. That's why they trying to manipulate the weather to also bring your energy down, to also bring your frequencies down. That's right, Yellow Feather, keep yourself grounded. That's what this is about. Don't let them manipulate you. I'm for you, brother and sister. I'm for you. No matter what people may say about me, they don't know me personally. They just know of me here. So when you hear me talk about certain religious things that happen and you taking that stuff personal, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. I'm trying to tell you what happened historically so you can know that that's something that you need to know because there is something that has to be corrected in order to fix you, in order for us to go higher. I'm trying to go higher with you. You are not by yourself. No matter what it may seem like on the outside, it's about what's happening in the inside. Dane preaching now. No, I can't listen to this. He preaching now. No, Dane is telling the truth and has been. And has been. That's what's going on. This ain't about what you believe. This is about what you know here. This is the reason why certain people say I got an old soul and I'm in my 30s. I was raised around the right people. My mother, grandmother, grandfather, father. They know what was going on on a spiritual note here. This ain't no game to them. It ain't no game to me. And it shouldn't be no game to you. They were trying to attack us this entire time. Still to this day. To keep us down. 
Raise yourself up. If you don't take nothing out of this live stream but that, good. Raise yourself up. Raise it up. Don't ask for nothing. Demand it. Demand that you're going to raise yourself up. Higher and higher. And I can tell you right now what's going to happen. It's going to happen. That's what this is about. This is the reason why I'm telling you. It's a, I'm telling you. I told y'all. This is the reason why it's a whole lot of pastors, ministers, deacons, those that call themselves Hebrews and stuff like that, Muslims, okay? Cool with me because they see. They see what's going on. They see the connection. They know I'm not to be played with neither. On top of that, they see exactly what was going on, what happened to our people. We got to get back to that. And then bring it up. That's how we come. Well, everybody was talking about, well, how do we unite when we so separated by religion? That's how. You unite with spirituality, your own spirituality. That's how. And look, I'm going to tell you, look, look, it's hard. It is. But you got to leave, once again, you got to leave those distractions, including all your smart devices at the same time, anything that's out to do harm to you. It could be a movie that you're watching. Be careful. You could be watching, for example, a horror movie that's bringing your spirituality down. If you're not in tuned with yourself, then all of the good things will be tuned out because you welcome in and malevolent things inadvertently on top of that. Sometimes you don't even know that, but when you are on a path, if you got to take a break from social media, whatever you got to do to get back on track with yourself, you got to do it. Don't allow nobody to stop you. I don't care if you love them. Yes, it goes for music too. And listen to that crap. That's the reason why I stopped doing music myself. I couldn't believe I was spitting out them negative affirmations, thinking that stuff was good. Yeah, I'm going to shoot this person, and I'm going to come over there and spit on the grave. Listen to that. That's why I left that stuff alone when I was in my 20s. I was like, no way, no way. But that was a part of becoming myself, becoming one with myself. That was all a part of it. So don't knock yourself. Pick yourself up. Pick yourself up. Because yourself depends on that. Natural Mystic, thank you for the donation. I appreciate that, y'all. Jessica, thank you for, wait. Jessica, you doubling up? I appreciate that, Jessica. Thank you, sister, I appreciate that. Thank you for being generous right there. Latanya, thank you, sister. Thank you, sister. I appreciate that. Glad, thank you for becoming a member. Two-timer, thank you for your donation. I appreciate that. And Twisted Cyborg TG, thank you for becoming a member. And Lothario Devonport, thank you for becoming a member. This is something serious, y'all. And that's the reason why I'm not going to stop. I'm going to continuously do what I'm going to do for our people. Everything I said I'm going to do, I'm going to do. Sometimes I may be late as far as, you know, if I give you a date that I'm late or give you a time and I'm late, so what? I'm getting it done. Because all this stuff take time. Just like becoming one with yourself. I'm not here to knock you. I'm here to bring you up with the truth. Sometimes it may seem like it's a hard pill to swallow. Look, but at least you were able to take it down now. You understand what I'm saying? At least you were able to take it down. I believe that he got a little bit more, and then I'm going to, uh, depending on the time, and we may go into something else. Oh, Lord, we were, we were streaming for almost three hours. Hold up. If y'all don't mind, I don't mind. It's up to y'all. It's because we are of June, and this is because... Mishap is. 
Okay, are you a Muslim? No, what is of Muslim, Hinduism, Buddhism, in anyhow religion totally is what is is why we are of league. Okay, so would it be fair to say that religion, including Islam, had destroyed us? That is like an enemy to our people. It takes us out of our true self. That's true. That's a fact. Mm-hmm. Yes. And in order for you to know yourself, you are who to stay who you are. Because we are all blessed equally. Black is white. White is black anyway. So we are not to assume as if we are different in any way. So we are to understand that our misbehavior is why we are off link. So if I call you, I'm calling you for you to talk of it in any way because I want us to talk of it so that the American government can come about and apologize anyway because if you talk of it, my brother... So the government could apologize. The system will come about to tell you that they are sorry because there was no America. All these things that the black people are celebrating, it was the kind who composed it. All you know, these things that the black people are celebrating, it was the cracker that, that created I'm saying, to deliberately play us, and in anyhow, it was the way To deliberately play us. Shout out to Blaze, thank you for becoming a member. And um, shout out to James Bernard, thank you for the donation, brother. And sister, Ari Lee, Ari Lee thank you for the donation. Oh my goodness, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Avery Lee, Lee or Ari Lee? You, she gonna get get on me in the comments, sister. If I'm got that wrong, get on me. Um, I appreciate that, sister. Thank you for being generous like that. Will Cows, thank you for becoming a member. And Leslie Miller, Miller, thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate that. Hold up, let me stay for a second just in case she correct me real quick, cause I want to get her name right. Is it Avery Lee or Ari Ari Lee? I want to get that right. Please correct me. Niji Warrior, thank you for the gifted. It's not. It's not required. It's not required. People are doing it out of you know out of generosity, and I appreciate that. That is not required. I appreciate that. I'm just here to teach the people. Niji gifted five, six memberships. So those of you who are not members right now can become members on Niji Warrior. I appreciate that, Niji Warrior. Thank you for being who you are. I don't think she got a chance to type in the chat. I'm gonna keep it moving. I'm gonna keep it moving. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it one more, like a few seconds. I hope I got that right. I hope I got her name right. But sister, get on me, okay? If I if I got it wrong, get on me. I would love to, you know. I would love to say it correctly. Choctaw Montana gifted one membership. I appreciate that, brother. Um, who was that right there? Han Solo, thank you for becoming a member. And uh Kylis King86, thank you for being a member for 15 months. I appreciate that. Louisiana Cherokee in the house. Choctaw 662 Greenville, Mississippi. I see you. Hell Wisdom, thank you for oh, oh, thank you for the donation, brother. I appreciate that. Gizmo Duck, thank you for the five gifted. I appreciate that, y'all. Y'all, y'all just don't understand. Choctaw Montana with another gifted. Thank you, brother. Darian, thank you for being a member for two months. 13% stand up. Purpose D, thank you for becoming a member. Larika, I appreciate you for becoming a member. Tatia, thank you for becoming a member. Christina, thank you for becoming a member. Chickasaw County, Mississippi in here. I see you, Nola in the house. Nick Swato, thank you. That's what Wado mean. I appreciate that. What's up, y'all? Gary Dickinson, I see you. What up, Wayne? 
Glock, what's going on? Atwood, I see you. Tikva, I see you. Who that Dre? What's going on? Latanya, I see you. Doc Moon Goddess in the house. Mobo Camp Records, thank you for being a member for one month. I appreciate that. Peter, thank you for becoming a member, Peter. Lafayette, thank you for becoming a member. 3,000 degrees, woo, member for 36 months. Thank you, brother OCO. PWR, thank you for being a member for 14 months, big time. Nora Jean, wow. Y'all being generous, man. I Thank y'all. Thank you, Nora. Man, let me let me drop another one. Thank you. Jermaine, I appreciate that. Thank you for becoming a member. Hold up. Let's say um Lucrica, thank you for your donation. I appreciate that. Freddie Neal been a member for seven months. I appreciate that, Freddie. Chef Russ, number seven. I appreciate that. Are you a chef for real? I mean, you throw it down. You know, we might have to. Nah, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Shadowhawk Thunder Bear in the building. I see you, brother. Hill Wisdom. Hey, come, yo, yo. What? Yo. <laughs> Man. Hell, Wesley, thank you for the five gifted, brother. I appreciate that. I appreciate that, y'all. Y'all. Mm. William, thank you for the gift of membership, William. Hab Jr., thank you for the donation, brother. Thank you. OCO, brother. I'll see you to you. OCO. R. Lee. Oh, I said it. Okay, I said it. R. Lee. All right, so it's pronounced R. Lee. I'm so glad you commented, sister. All right. Azana West, thank you for being a member. Delayla, hold up. Delayla, what you doing? Delayla, what you doing? Sister, thank you, sister. Thank you, sister. I appreciate that. Jermaine, come on. Jermaine, thank you for the donation, brother. I appreciate that. Jess F, 24 months, loving every minute. I appreciate that, y'all. It's spiritual for me, and it's touching me. It's touching me, and uh, that's why I love what I'm doing, because it's waking people up. It's helping people. I know it is, and y'all not on y'all own. Y'all not. I'm telling you. Y'all are not on y'all own. Light skin roster. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. What? Queen for Christ. Thank you, sister. Thank you, sister. I appreciate that. See? Told y'all the Christians in here. Thank you, sister. I appreciate that. Thank you for being very generous like that. Man. Speedy, thank you for becoming a member. Um, I'm a, I've been a member for two years accounting. Thank you, sister Clay. I appreciate that. I'm trying to, I'm, look. Eldrick Bashful, thank you for, look. Thank you for the donation, brother. Thank y'all. That's um, that was like, that's amazing. That's amazing. And I hope y'all spreading the message as well. Cassandra and Shaka, thank you for being members. I hope y'all spreading the message as well. This is for our people. This is what our people need, especially at a time like this. Especially at a time like this. They need to know the truth. And they also need to know what's ages out there that look like us. That's trying to stop us from knowing the truth. I appreciate that, y'all. The greeting, it was the cracker who composed 
you know what I'm saying, to deliberately play oh. us. And in anyhow, it was the reason they were thinking as if they have any edge over us. But the same, the same is what Islam is so us. But in anyhow, I want to tell you this too, my brother. Whatever you do, be about to know that is good at all times. So see right. good, go good, act good. Be about to know that your creator is who made us all. And we are blessed as one anyway. And we are one family anyhow. And we are one family. So you saying that we are one family with the crap, with the white man? The white man is yes. not our enemy? No, no, you can you cannot be about to generalize it. When you talk of the crap, when I you can't be about the generalizing. Listen, y'all. Listen, see how them pan goofies do? They always try to make it seem like it's all of the pale faces that's our enemy. Look how they do. Cracker is somebody who cracks you up with. He said when he say cracker, cracker is somebody who cracks you up. The tails, the feet that they're communicated. When you talk of the cracker, when I say cracker, Cracker is somebody who cracks you up with the tails, the feet that they communicated. So the, with the tail that that cracks you up with the uh, tails that they communicate. If you be about to say that, hence they are who play us and draw this mishap by claiming white is superior, as if white can be superior anyway. So it's not like we should generalize it. And anyhow, if they come about to bring this way. We are not to come about and bring about any mishap. Okay, so let me get this straight. The joke you is, said, look, he still got to get this straight. Look, look, then he go back and still got to get this straight. He ain't get none of this straight yet. He ain't get none of this straight yet. Marcus Garvey was created by the white man. Yes. And you said, yeah, the, and then you said, we never went through slavery. Slavery was not real. There how, was never any years. How did you explain? There how, was never any years. How did you explain? How do you explain all the slave pictures, all the brothers and sisters that got their narratives? How can all the slave pictures, all the brothers and sisters that got their narratives? Listen, y'all, look at them. Look, look, I mean. Everybody got to learn. You fix your face to say that. My, my brother, well, when you see the pictures, it was them who manipulated the pictures to software engineers. As what? I saw you have over there the lynching. My brother, do you think the crowd would drive through in a black neighborhood and lynch us and we sit there and let them do that? If they ever was who did that, I'm not saying they didn't do that anyhow. In, 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 in any neighborhood that they are living and probably a pocket of blacks are living there. But what is it we are saying, we have to understand that when you hear me say, you have to understand that there was never any USA period. So what is it you talk of Abraham Lincoln is a deliberate tale. So it never was what is it, it never occurred. So there was never any president of USA before FDR anyway. And they were- there was no Ooh, remember when I went over this? That it was never a president before FDR anyway. It wasn't a president in the US before FDR anyway. We went over this before, I'm a, I'm a little speak. Anyhow, the military, the military was what was ruling America. There was no election. What there they no talk election. of there, uh, when they talk of there, it was them that have this, system and they brought it to be about uh, they let the females vote and it come to be later the black people is all a lie anyway mm. so all these artifacts you see is them who fabricated deliberately to fool us into thinking the white was ruling black while it see? never occurred well, so I if heard. I told you that there was never any colonization, colonization of any Africa, I'm telling you a fact. Woo. There was never any government in Africa before now. So when Woo. they talk of independence, 
my brother, this is how it is. I'm just being me. I try to reach them, and they are not even letting me reach them because they don't want for us to be about as how isn't it? I was wanting them, uh, wanting for us to be anyway. He want us to be anyway, please, my. He want us to be one. He said, but people are not listening. He wanted us to be one. Okay, but he said these artifacts they're creating and stuff like that, all of that, that, that's a tale. It's a part of a tale. They're just trying to keep up the story. And I told you the same thing. I told you the real story about the Statue of Liberty as well. Okay, twice. Okay, they tried to talk about that was for liberating, liberating uh France. That's a lie. It came from the France government. That's a lie. I showed you that with primary sources. Come on, y'all. This is our land. And more than just us know that now. Okay? I'm going to keep going, though, because he almost finished. Brother, what is when we are talking of Egypt, huh? Those things are what is now. The crowd are also tales. Because the crowd is trying to play us for mm -hmm. us to assume as there was government. They, they, so they're they trying to make us assume as if they were government. So the stories that they told about Egypt is a lie. That's what he's saying. Feeding us in this way, anyhow. So in order for us to be about, to want to be what we are, we have to understand that we all have to stay who we are totally. If we totally. stay who we are totally, we will all be in tune with who we are. And then there won't be anything of any mishap anyway. Okay, man. Um, maybe they don't want to hear you talk because you sound crazy to no, say, no, 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 look, to no, say no, that no, black no, people. They, they always say we sound crazy. Anytime you disagree with somebody, they always say we sound crazy. Look at them doing the same thing. The same thing. When it's going against their own beliefs. Yeah, we're going to sound crazy to them. Listen to him. To say that white people created Marcus Garvey, then you stated it that we never went through slavery. I mean, you sound crazy as hell. My, my, what about- my, my, brother, my brother, my brother, we were never in Gambia or Senegal or Mali or Guinea or Nigeria before now. And if you are to- Ooh, one more time. We never went through slavery. I mean, you sound crazy as hell. My, my, what about my, my brother? My brother, my brother. We were never in Gambia or Senegal or Mali or Guinea or Nigeria before now. Before and now, if you are to ask the people that live there, because this is what I want you to understand, my brother. Now it's this way. This is so why you... Godfrey said his father never passed down that story. Keep in mind, he's Nigerian. He, the claim that they know of their ancestors, they are just lying. Black is sophisticated. If your ancestors were here, my brother, you would have known of them. If your ancestors right. were here, my brother, you would you have, have known know of them. Of them. That's if right. your ancestors were here, my brother, you would have known of them. But they were never here. What so about anyway, what about the Moors? Are we Moors? Oh, here he go. Okay, this is what I want you to understand. What is a more? A more is a phrase. As to say, more is an English phrase. As to say, better. Like, for instance, if a, if a white person come to you and say white is superior to black, and you be about and tell them, I am more, you are telling them I am better. Woo! You understand what I'm saying? Woo! So that's the definition of a more. So if the blacks were referred as a more, they were also doing what is not is not good anyway. They are also doing what is not good anyway. Once again, that's a tale. Listen to how he broke that down, y'all. Listen. And that's why you tying yourself to that term. It's not the fact that it has to do with your identity, your true identity. You just want to be a part of those that feel as though they're superior. Because what is black is white. What is white is black anyway. So we are equal. We are so equal. the mishap which I call, what the mishap that I call when you be about to think that we are different. I want to tell you that this way was never was before our grandparents anyway. That way didn't okay. happen before our grandparents. Yes. 
So if you if 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 I tell you that there was any slavery, I'm telling you a fact because the American government can confirm it. If I tell you that there was any British Empire, yes, that's a fact in any way. I can tell you a lot of things of what is there. You are assuming there, you know what I'm saying? As if it's as it is. He said, I can tell you that because I can tell you what's not real, but you are going to assume that it is real. Like I told you, the are. You're going to assume that it is real. Is real. You still join. There is nothing as a continent of Africa or America. Look at Guadwana. Look at Guadwana. I want you to understand I'm so this. glad I put this up. <laughs> Look at Guadwana. I'm so glad I put this up. The, co the continent is still connected. There is nothing as a continent of Africa or no America. No such thing as a continent it's of America land. or Africa. I want you Africa. to understand this. There's one we land. We are living in a star. There is nothing as a solar system. No, no such what thing as a solar NASA system. What is NASA saying of astronomy as if they have he any... Listen, what NASA is saying is... Listen, okay, I, I, hold on, hold on. He going in, hold on. As if it's as it is. Like I told you, the art is still joined. There is nothing as a continent of Africa or America is one land. I want you to understand this. There is nothing as a continent of Africa or America. It's one land. I want you to understand this. We're living in a star. There is nothing as a solar system. What is the NASA is saying of astronomy as if they have any spaceship or, or, or space station is all a tale. There is nothing as an astronomer. It's all an act in any way for you to know. So all is that we've been talking of science, as you say, white blood cells, red blood cells. Those are all tales. So we are assuming as if this is what is correct anyway. So I'm telling you a fact. We are assuming if you know that that is correct. Yourself, it's you, you know. So the other is not your way. Our creator is who is here for us. So if you are who stay with yourself as who you be, be about to never pray as the other indicated. 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 Be about as who you be and not as the other indicated. Hey, he went in. And brother, if you out there, I would love for you to reach out to me. I don't know your name. I don't have your information. I just know that that came from one of them paying Goofy's channels. And the person that was interviewing them could not believe it. Couldn't grasp it. Couldn't swallow that pill of truth. A lot of people can't. A lot of people can't. If it was up to him, he probably would have took the blue pill. A lot of people can't take that red pill. They can't do it. They don't want to swallow the, the pill of truth. They don't want to do it. Okay, and it's a lot of people out there, but that's not my fault. That's not this gentleman's fault. That's your, you got to fault yourself on that one. You have the opportunity to learn the truth and what it's all about. You got the opportunity to do that and you don't got to take his word for it and you ain't got to take mine here. You could do it on your own. You can find out. If you really want to know, you can find out. Once again, you got to bring yourself up higher and demand that that truth come to you. Demand that that truth come to you. You're going to be led in the right direction. A lot of people were spiritually led to my channel. This is the reason why YouTube did things to my channel in order to nullify them views. That's why. I'm a spiritual person. I did it spiritually. Some of them was mad because I was playing that type of music in my videos. Like right now. He always playing music. He trying to manipulate y'all. They mad. All I'm trying to do is calm your spirit down so you can hear me. It's not over here. Getting you all hyped and everything with hype music. No, I got the calm music. I got the calm music so you can better grasp what I'm saying. It won't ever fail. It won't ever fail. And it's something that you really need to hear. I'm going to zone in on that with the music as well. Because I use it. The right way. A lot of people were using it the wrong way when it comes to music. You understand what I'm saying? You got to be able to swallow that truth. And I know how hard that it is. With me being a teacher, not only do I have to write down what I'm stating, okay? Repeat it on multiple occasions so people can understand it. Not only understand it, but comprehend it. Not only comprehend it, but let it sink in. It's printed and embedded in their mindset. I got to do it by way of music as well. Certain people like to hear me without music. 
but certain people don't listen. I told y'all that a lot of people actually don't listen when it comes to that, unless I'm talking about something exciting, like something that they're familiar with, like a trending topic. This is not a trending topic. You see what the odds that are against me already It's not a trending topic. So what I have to do is force it to be a trending topic. I'm doing the right thing. I'm doing it the right way. I don't pray on people. I don't pray over things. I don't, I don't do that. What I do state, what I state, not pray, pray could be a bad thing. Keep that in mind. What I state is affirmations. I affirm. I understand what I'm saying? I affirm, affirm what I want to happen for myself and our people. We are waking up and I told you it was going to happen in the beginning of this channel. I knew it was going to happen. This was a spiritual awakening for me years ago. I told you I'm not going to stop because my ancestors told me not to keep going. No matter how hard it get, no matter what it may seem like on the outside, just remember you in the inside. Don't forget what you are here to do, Dane. And I'm being obedient. The creator got everything created for me in order for me to be in tune with myself and tune everybody else up. Since you are the engine, the I N J U N I'm here to tune you up to raise you up higher. There's going to be a lot of people that's against that statement alone, but I'm not here for them type of people. I'm not here for that. Once again, it's the reason why I said it's only going to take 13% of our own people to get everything done. We got to know, we got to be cognizant of our past, the real past of what happened to our people in order for us to fix it right now in the present for us to have a better future. And spirituality has everything to do with it. Spirituality has everything to do with it. Okay, baby, I got you. All right. Now my wife is saying, okay, that is true. Cause what time is it? All right. So let me, um, let me make sure. Okay. So my, my wife is asking me to do it at another time. And she's right though, because I do have another thing I have to do. Um, and she's waiting on something I got to pass to her. So I probably go live tomorrow, 6 PM. Um, let me shout some people out because I know certain things was popping off on my screen and I didn't get a chance to see it. Um, and okay, brother, wait, Lafayette. Wow, man. Look, I appreciate that. Thank you for being very generous like that. I'm doubling up. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. I appreciate that y'all. Oh man. Yeah. Look. Look, yeah, I, I gotta, I, I just can't, I can't stress enough how that just, that it just, that touches me. It really does. It really does. And I'm glad that what I'm doing is working because it's not just for me. It's not, this is not about me. It's not about me. And if that people do donate and that's their way of thanking me. And of course I'm going to thank them back. But even if you don't, if you click like, if you share, if you, you know what I'm saying? If you have these conversations with your, with your elders, number one, your family members, number two, your coworkers, number three, you know, your friends, that's what this is about. We got to spread it. Kenneth, thank you for the 10 gifted brother. Thank you for the 10 gifted man. And this is another reason why we got to do these events. Oh man, brother Coleman. At what point? Brother Coleman, thank you so much for the 10 gifted. Thank you. Thank you, brother Coleman. Um, man, y'all trying to, you see, so, uh, Jess, thank you for upgrading the membership. I appreciate that. And hell, hold up. Hell you, what? Come on, y'all. Hell wisdom. Thank you for the donation, brother. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Yeah, that's th this is it's touching. It's touching. And that's very helpful. That's very kind of you. Are you all for doing that? I thank you. 
those of you that are not able to do that that's fine this is not i'm not showing favoritism that's not what this is about click the like button click the share button comment if need be just spread the message that's i really just want the, the share button to be you know what i'm saying the most important the share button i mean yeah you can click the like button more people can see the video but the share button is on you you understand what i'm saying the share button brings it to the people that you know let me talk to them sometimes they may not want to hear from you let them hear from me let them hear from other people that i play that i put on the channel and play that weren't on the channel but i think you need to hear we could do it as a collective that's what that's what this is about anyway that's what this is about and get back to your spirituality i hope y'all heard me on this spiritual note hope y'all heard me i hope this was a good one i hope it was a good one enough where y'all heard me on that note i love y'all equally i don't care about your skin complexion i love y'all equally i don't care about your skin complexion if you're about truth brother and sister i'm for you brother and sister that's what our enemies are fighting against and this is what we're fighting for okay I, I, over three hours look i said not three hours look at that this is on the, all right not my i love y'all i'm gonna do it anyway i'm gonna do it anyway my, my my wife was right she got me we're gonna do this again 6 p.m tomorrow uh that's eastern time 6 p.m by the way 6 p.m eastern time i love y'all don't be laughing at me. <laughs> Don't be laughing at me. I swear I said, anyway, anyway. But this is out of love. Y'all take care. Why though? I'm just here to make you think.